What's up, everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. Yep. Right there, that logo. Uh, I am by myself today, for now. Uh, my wife is going to be joining me. She had to work this morning, so it's going to be uh, me for a little while, and then she's going to be helping me manage the Q&A. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful morning already. Have a good weekend. Um, Hopefully there was some good news that I got to bring to some of you all yesterday. That was a lot of fun. That was a, it was a lot of fun, but it was also very last minute <laughs> kind of thing uh, because of the changes that are happening between Marvel Diamond and Marvel Hashet and uh, I'm sorry, Marvel and Penguin Random House. So hope everybody can hear me. Okay, it's always uh, difficult to uh, to tell if I can be heard or not when I'm doing this by myself. So aloha, Omar and everyone else. Good evening from Northern Ireland. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I've never read it, but I'm assuming Wolverine and the X-Men by Jason Aaron is great. Uh, yeah, I really like it. I really like those kids, and I really like the villains that he brought into the book. The interesting thing about that book is that it's the end of the Jason Aaron arc on Wolverine because it goes uh, Jason Aaron's uh, Wolverine and then Wolverine goes to hell and then Wolverine and the X-Men. So it's really cool. Yep. Yep. Can't believe we're getting Thor volume one pumped for that and Cap lives. I'm so glad that it's really interesting how all that came about and all the reprints happening and the announcement happening. Um, but uh, the behind the scenes is really funny. Uh, of how, how all that happened and how I my video that you all are probably used to happening on a Friday before we get a new month worth of books is the upcoming collected editions for the month of April. That was edited and ready to go. And then I got an email from David and I was like, well, uh, I got to change this now. So I went to film that really quick and put it out there and postpone the upcoming collected editions until Sunday. Now, if you're a Patreon, that video is available for an early view. I think that's going to be available as soon as this video is over. So we are on Patreon. It's a great way to support the channel uh, if you can do so. And big shout out to all our patrons making videos uh, like this possible, making it possible for me to make videos like this. So Hi from Scotland, Omar. You may know me on Twitter as DonutLord84. That name does ring a bell. Hello from Cleveland. The reprints are all thanks to Graham. Yep, Graham made that happen. He loved that Silver Age stuff, so he's getting his Silver Age Thor. And that's the important thing I need to bring up, too, is the importance of... Um, I'm going to wait till... Let's wait until... Uh, we get some more people in here so I can start talking about it. I want no name to come back. It's <laughs> dude, Melanie's not here to hold me back either, so I don't know if I want that to happen. Hey, Hannah, how are you doing? Hi, Ace. I don't think I've ever talked to you either. Names rings a bell. Thank you. Most of the time, you're talking to my wife or Maddie, ignoring me. That's okay, I'm used to that. Thor Volume 1 reprint. Yeah, man, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, hey, Omar, are you alone today? I For now, uh, Melanie had to work, so she's going to be joining me through uh, StreamYard uh, whenever she gets in, in there. Yeah, happy Saturday. What's up, Oscari Arala? Good to see you, man. Good to see all these names coming back. There's my buddy, Gary Sandberg, Mega Schremser. By the way, Mega Schremser was one of our winners, and... Um, I've got eight more boxes to ship out. Everything has been shipped out. Some people already got theirs. Well, if they live in the U.S., they already got their books. Uh, so for all our winners, um, Organic Price Books has already shipped out their stuff. Um, I need to check with Max to see if the $50 gift cards have already been activated. And I've got eight more boxes to ship out. It was a lot It was a lot to give away, and, it's, um, and I kind of slowed myself down. I was like, I'm going to do three lots <laughs> going to the post office, but yes. I'm from Equato. Donde es eso? Where's that? Where's that at? Anyone else having issues with cheap graphic novels charging for failed transactions? If you are having issues, shoot them an email. I know they were, because they're changing their system, they might be having some kind of problems. So please shoot them an, uh, an email. Omar, greetings from Russia. What's up, man? Sup, dog? What's up? Frazier, how's it going, buddy? 
I know you were one of the people that got your books already, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that people are getting their books. Got my hands on three Black Science volumes recently. Can't wait to read it. Yep, and they're only going to have that. That's it. This is the final printing, according to Remender, but who knows? Gently reminder. This is a daily reminder, not a gently reminder. Uh, to gently caress the like button for that algo, baby. Thank you. Share with us again, how would you map Extinction Agenda Omnibus? I was saving... Uh, I was actually going to save that for another segment of Map My X, which is coming back this Friday um, on March 9th. Is that March 9th? Yeah, March 9th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, happy dinner time from India. Oh, good to see you, Tushar. Good morning, Omar. Greetings from Colombia. Any chances we're going to get a Jonah Hex omnibus from uh, the Palmiotti uh, run? I know that he wants one. I know I want one. So, hopefully, hopefully we will get one. I'd love to see that. Any word on ASM by JMS Volume 1? It's Amazing Spider-Man by J. Michael Straczynski, for those people that don't know. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Um, how There might be more reprints that I haven't announced yet, so just stay tuned. Omar, why is it so difficult to get X-Men omnibuses? And I'll tell you this. Now we got more people. I'll go ahead and uh, talk about this. Uh, so the, the, the problem that is happening is that there aren't enough pre-orders for books so there's no way for marvel to see how much how much of a demand there is for reprint specially so they always play it safe just ask anybody that has been collecting epics the epic reprints don't get as much of a print run as a new epic collection and it's the same thing with the marvel omnibus uh editions so for example i'm trying to think of the, the best example I think I could use is X of Swords or Ten of Swords. X of Swords did not get enough pre-orders. So, and that's that's the fault of um, the retailers not putting in the orders and just kind of forgetting about the book because the book wasn't labeled as an X-Men X of Swords book. So, when that book came out, they immediately sold out. And here's the thing about pre-orders, and I know some of you all can't really help this because of where you live. But pre-orders from the direct market are what really counts. And that's your local comic book shops or places like uh, DCBS or Tales, Tales of Wonder to an extent. Because when you pre-order from Amazon, that doesn't add another book to the pre-order system. If you pre-order through Amazon, they already have an algorithm built on how much they're going to pre-order ahead of time. So you pre-ordering through Amazon doesn't really help add numbers. It's pre-ordering through local comic book shops and... Uh, or, or places online that let you pre-order. Now, it's very important. I will say, with especially with these reprints that I just announced, that everybody tries to pre-order these books because I don't want anybody to miss out on these things. And you all see how fast they go. Because they, now where we're, we are in a time of... Um, how, do I, how do I put it? Uh... A year and a half ago, two two years ago, we were getting maybe one or two omnis a month, and and two omni two two reprints a year. Now, it's a lot more books than that because they realize there's a market for this stuff. That that not everybody's going to buy every one of these books. Everybody's just going to either buy Thor or people are going to concentrate on Captain America. So it almost feels like a monthly comic book that's coming out. So they're not making as many to keep the warehouse, you know, uh, to keep a lot more titles coming that's how they're able to do this because before they had a huge print run of only two books a month now it's like oh well let's go ahead and make you know six omnis this month and the warehouse space hasn't grown and the printer's still putting out as, as many books so the, i don't think we're gonna see any more you know people were making jokes about like oh we're gonna see some of these books at ollie's i don't think that's what they're gonna do anymore i don't think we're gonna see any more liquidated books i don't think we're gonna see those books like uh incredible hulk uh, that was liquidated for a couple of years, the Silver Age Volume 1. And there are other titles that were liquidated. I don't think we're going to be seeing those anymore. So now they're making smaller print runs based on pre-orders, and that's why it's important important to pre-order. So, God, I went on. That was a long answer, but that's what happened. I'm, I'm serious. Now, will there be a restock? I'm hoping there's a restock, just like there's a restock of Absolute Carnage coming out, just like there's another restock. And by the way, uh, Wolverine Volume 1, Cheap Graphic Novels, does have that on sale right now. And I hate to drive FOMO, 
but all three covers of Wolverine Omnibus Volume Two are out. They are, they are, they are. You can't order them from the uh, distribution center, which is Diamond, through the direct market. I don't know how many Amazon's going to get, but all three of the covers of Wolverine Omnibus Volume Two are gone. So hopefully, some of you all pre-ordered them. Um, I know some of you all like to wait until uh, Inside Trades or Geographic Novels gets them the week of, which is cool. Yeah, that's what I do, but. Um, I did want to say that all three covers are gone. So when it comes out, it's going to be coming out and it's out of print already. So I'm sure I'm going to tell, uh, I am, I forgot. I, I need to email David and let him know, uh, that those books are already out of print. So maybe we can get another restock. So yeah, I mean, this is a good thing to live by. I would say always pre-order your must-haves. If you're on the fence about something, then just wait. Absolutely. that That's actually really good. To pre-order the Generation X Epic or hope for an omnibus? That is the question. I don't know. I don't know how many epics they'll release before they announce an omnibus. But I'm glad we're getting into that 90s stuff. Uh, Jim? Uh, Jim's asking for a Hulk one omnibus reprint. Yeah, I think that will come. That one, that one, that was one of the examples I was using. That was liquidated for. I remember seeing it at conventions for twenty five to thirty dollars for two years. It took a long time for that book to go out of print. Um. So hopefully, um, you know, uh, when it's reprinted, it will sell better. Any update on Jason Aaron Avengers hardcover? Thank you so much, uh, Tushar. And I'm still waiting on my copy. I didn't get a copy from the uh, from Marvel, but I'm waiting on my copy that I bought. So as soon as it comes in, I'll do an overview of it. Thank you so much again for the super chat, my dude. Oh no, got a shipment of damage pre-orders. I'm bummed. I'm that sucks. I'm so sorry. Has the Empire Omnibus been delayed? I don't think so. I think that's still coming out. As far as I know, um, let me double check though. I think that was the uh, June 23rd is when that comes out. Both covers it's still on for June 23rd. Hey, I've pre ordered my Marvel Omnis, even though it's ex very expensive to do here in Belgium. So I, I know overseas is, is having issues, and that. Honestly, I hope that it gets fixed with uh, what's happening with uh, Diamond and shifting from Diamond over to Penguin Random House. Hopefully, you all will get more of a stock. So, yes, Wolverine is getting another restock in August. It'll be a smaller restock, but it'll be a small, but it's a restock. And I hope the people overseas will finally be able to get it. Let's see. Only thing with CGN, this geographic novel, is we get notified on a book on our wish list is available. We pay it, but then it doesn't ship for some three weeks. But uh, the important thing is, are you able to get it? That's that's all that matters to me. It's like, whew, man, as long as I get it. Because uh, Omar paying for a book six months before. Yes. So pre-ordering some places like DCBS, you have to pay for it ahead of time. And that's what, you know, it's a turnoff for a lot of people. Like, And I get it. Why do I want to pay 100 or however much they charge 60 70 dollars for a book i'm not going to get until five or six months uh, to, to secure it that's that's really the answer to make sure you're getting it but that is you know that's a problem a lot of people have and that's why it helps to make a budget too omar it's my birthday i gave you plenty of heads up announce the Heart dr strange omni i can't not yet Though they are available through Amazon US. Okay, so I know that people overseas sometimes order through uh, Amazon US. Is that correct? Am I correct in saying that? Like sometimes you all order through Amazon US and pay an additional shipping, which I don't think is, I think it's like 15 bucks or something is what I was told, depending on where you live. Do you have a favorite, favorite, ugh. Okay, anyone we're talking pretty. Uh, Matt Hardy, thank you for the super chat. Do you have a favorite decade for comics? I always love that special charm they had in the 80s. I'm with you. 80s, man. 80s. 80s, brother. That's uh, that's me. I mean, uh, that's my youth. And I think for most people, that's what it's going to be, right? 
most people are going to say, yeah, whatever era I grew up reading these books in, whatever era these books impacted my life the most. So for me, it's the 80s. Love it. And and Special Charm, you're right about that. Um, Hey, Omar, what's your buddy's website again? Oh, Chris's website? That's comicreleases.com. Uh, See if I can put it in the chat. Yeah, he, he updates that. He's a good guy. Great guy that runs it. So it's comicreleases.com. If you want to go check that out, I'll put it, I'll add it to the description of this video too. Thank you for reminding me of that, Frazier. It's like he, he keeps you up to date what books are coming out. Just like uh, the delay of uh, Predator, Predator, all Predator books were canceled and they're going to be resolicited at a later date. Omar, your news about the Fourth World reprint saved me an expensive eBay purchase. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Kevin. Uh, do you think we'll get a Legion five years later, volume two? I really hope so. I don't, I don't know what, what the plan is right now. It was, I'll tell you what, we were very lucky, and I hate saying that, but we were very lucky that we got a Legion five years later omnibus. I didn't think that was going to happen, but it did. And uh, I saw a volume two of Before Darkness, so it gives me hope that they'll start doing more and more Legion stuff. For your information, Final Crisis Omnibus is at in stock and at DCBS for $75. If anyone wants it, that is as good as price as it will get. Yep, and that one's was it 100 I don't know how much the reprint was, but I think the first printing was 125. I think the reprint might have been 150. Omar, when was the last liquidated Marvel Omni? It's been about goodness, it's been a couple of years. Uh when I started noticing a change was when uh, books like Silver Surfer by Dan Slott were coming out. So I want to say it's been at least two years uh, since we've had a, a liquidated omnibus. And I think, you know, people were talking about seeing some of the Star Wars liquidated stuff at Ollie's. And that's what, you know, as a business, you don't want to see that. You don't want to liquidate anything. You want to make sure the stock keeps moving constantly. I'm really hoping that X of Swords uh, gets shipped. I know Diamond uh, shipped out a couple of more cases and cases aren't very many right we're talking about 16 books in a case if that but not everybody got some so tuba dragula volume two and three reprint any howard mackie ghostwriter danny catch omnibus uh no on danny catch that i know of so far tuba dragula volume two and three i i'm i also want those reprints but i don't know if that's gonna happen i mean the 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 demand has to be there uh, so what they will probably do is reprint volume one again and see how the sales of that book are. Uh, that's probably what they would do. And I would say it might come around the time the Blade movie comes out, if I were a betting man. And uh, I am going to start the poll. By the way, a huge shout out to Luis and uh, James that have been helping me with this uh, Google Drive so everybody can have a vote on what reprints they want. So the way it's going to work, I think we're going to put it like everybody gets three choices as to what reprints they want. And then we're going to take the top 10 from that. I Just like last year, I hand that information over to Marvel. And baby, we got about all 10 books printed, man, from last year, except for Fantastic Four by Jonathan Hickman, Volume 2, which may come. I mean, we're getting a Volume 1, so and I see those books, those those books will sell. Uh, can you do an interview with the owner of Reed Comics, get the perspective on our side of the pond? Yeah, I can reach out to him. That's a good idea, Matt. Thanks for that suggestion. Uh, Omar, do you know anything about why the Predator series uh, in Omnibus was postponed? Well, at first it was canceled, but what, you know, resolicited is good. That's what I want to see. And I, I think it has something to do with Penguin Random House, probably, you know, moving the stock over there. So at least it's coming back out. Dude, freaking Inferno is thicker than a snicker, baby. It's it's big. I mean, it's two OHCs put together. So, and that book, I saw that it was out of print already. Did the Afro Omnibus sell well? If it does, does it mean we will get more Star Wars canon Omnis other than the Soul, Soul Vader? I, it, I, it's out of print. I know at least the direct market cover is gone. Oh, thank you, Arya. Lord Omar, <laughs> hope you had a great rest of your birthday month. I did have a really good birthday month. 
Omar, do you have any info on a restock of Uncanny 2? Not now, but I did let David know about those books. So hopefully, you know, we'll get a restock. It's X-Men. We know they're going to sell. And, yep, I got to announce that, I think, last month sometime about the Tomb of Dracula Masterwork coming out in October. Doesn't mean that they're not going to do a Tomb of Dracula omnibus, though. So who knows? We'll see. If they reprint Tuba Dracula Volume 1, I'll definitely get that. Any updates on a possible Excalibur onto this restock? I think we have a higher chance of that happening when Volume 2 comes out later this year. So that might be the time to try to get a restock going. And I'll, I will remind the appropriate parties like that, that it might be a good time. Because you know, a lot of people didn't get it, especially overseas. Ironically, right? The UK didn't get a lot of copies of Excalibur. Now... Here, here's one thing I will say, Luis. Um, please be Fall of the Mutants reprint this year. Fingers crossed. Fall of the Mutants is not an omnibus. So I'm sticking only omnibus books in the poll. However, I'm making a couple of exceptions uh, with just Fall of the Mutants. And there was something else. But I can't make an exception for all X-Men because I feel like, to be fair, if I put a poll out there, the top 10, I think, are going to come back as X-Men titles. And we want to show love to everything, right? Because there's people that want other books reprinted. But if I put like 10 OHCs that are out of print from X-Men, that's what people are going to want. And I get it. So I'm going to put, I'm, I am making an exception with a couple of books. Like Fall of the Mutants is one of them. Because that's what I did with Inferno last year. And that's how we got the Inferno reprint, which is awesome. So cool that worked out. And on top of that, we're getting the prelude too. That's being reprinted as an omnibus. Damn, it's a great time to be, you know, this. this is a, it's a good time to be in this hobby if you can get the books. It's also a popular time, too. I prefer the 60s, although I was a kid in the 80s, and uh, and the 80s are awesome. My favorite decade is the 60s forever. See, that's awesome. Let's see. Hi, Omar. Any news on the September to December epic reprints? Yes. Uh, I got two more. I know some things are going into the Hashit catalog, which I can't. There, there's no way to stop that from happening, but then and that's okay. But Doctor Strange Epic Collection, a separate reality is getting a new printing in December, as well as Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man No More is getting a uh, new printing in December. Those are the two books I know for sure. There's going to be more at it. Uh, you'll probably see it in the hashtag catalog before you before I get to announce a video. But those are the ones that David told me about yesterday. So Doctor Strange Epic Collection, a separate reality, getting a new printing, and Amazing Spider-Man Epic Collection, Spider-Man no more. Those both are getting a new printing. So there you go. That's y'all got some news today on Saturday. You weren't expecting starting the Superman reading order propaganda. Thank you, Kevin, for the super chat. I'm going to be, um, I'll, I'll put Superman up for our Patreon poll again. This, uh, sometimes sometime in the next couple of months, I'm going to be busy with, uh, X-Men for, for a little while. I think uh, part two is out, uh, or it's not out yet. I'm making that live next week, but our Patreons have early access to that one. Uh, and I'm currently reading a lot to get through part three. Because part four and five are what's going to be a pain, because that's when X-Men kind of, in, like, they, they wanted to focus on just a couple titles. And then out of nowhere, we had 12 titles, and it just blew up. So I have to choose, like pick and choose what stays and what goes, what's important. Uh, including a couple of mini series, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should keep, but anyway. We'll never get the Gen X if we keep doing the reprint two step. <laughs> One day we will. Omar, can you map an X Men omnibus between Operation Zero Tolerance and the 12? Yeah, we'll call it the Magneto War. I think that would be great. I know the Trial of Gambit is in there. Honestly, there's enough material for two Omnis in there. There's enough material for two Omnis there with the trial of Gambit, Magneto, War Hunt for Xavier, all those storylines. You throw in some minis in there, Crimson Dawn, those kind of things. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Omar, excited! so excited for the classic Thor reprint. Yeah, I'm excited for you all, too. Uh, you all, uh, it, it, it makes me so happy to get to break the news to you all and, and to see the excitement and you know the, the, to see people just uh bring bring people to tears and it's happy tears right 
Because I know what it feels like to have a crappy day and then look forward to something that you weren't expecting. Which is, you know, that's how the whole thing with the suit happened to me. But I, I think it's it's so cool, all the messages I've been getting, you know, and you all are so sweet, the comments. Um, of course, a couple of people are, are like, well, that's not the book I wanted, and I get it. it just, just like I always say, stick around. Your book will come. I promise. Thank you so much, Sas Murph, for the super chat. When voting, maybe pass an obvious reprint such as JMS Volume 1 and Fall the Mutants and go for deep cuts like Tomb of Dracula. I thought about that, but I do want to make it fair. I do want to show that there is an interest in these books. So in order to do that, I have to be you know accurate with this because that's kind of what I did with the first... Dang it, stupid camera, auto. Um, that's what I did with the first uh, poll. I made sure that I was accurate. Didn't add too many X titles in there that were OHC. I only added Inferno, I think, or maybe. But I, but I see what you're saying. I think JMS Spidey will come. You're right, but you know, I, I want to make it fair so everybody has a say. Your favorite X Man besides Wolverine and favorite DC superhero. Thank you, the Juan P Patterson Powers for the super chat. Uh, my favorite X Man, the Storm. I love Storm. Rogue, love Rogue. Catherine Kitty Pride, um, Long Shot. I think I'm one of the few people that love Long Shot. He he was such an obscure character to add to the X Men mix. Um, Archangel, 100. Not Angel, Archangel. Metal Wings, Death, Archangel. Love those characters. Um, <sighs> there's a couple like Hope that have grown on me uh, from recent years. Takes a lot to break into those top five, though. And as far as favorite DC superheroes, it's Nightwing all the way. Nightwing, I love Nightwing. I love Captain Marvel from DC, Shazam, whatever you all call him these days. He'll always be Captain Marvel to me. Um, Tim Drake Robin, big fan of Tim Drake Robin, man. Huntress, Oracle, not Batgirl, Oracle. It's looking more and more likely for Silver Age X-Men Omni reprints in 2022. That's right, man. Let's make that happen. I know a lot of you all want those, too. I know a lot of people want those. Omar, please start influencing Badgering David. I can only do so much. So he will allow reprints of uh, Hulk, Omnibus 1, and X-Men. Well, that's where the reading – or that's where the uh, poll will come in. You all, you all have a voice. This is you all. This is not me. I don't – I – you know, these aren't books that I want. Otherwise, we'd have New Warriors Volumes 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? But these are books that you all want. So I'm leaving it up to you all to vote. I just get to announce it and then uh, send the list over to David. Uh, and then they, at the end of the day, you know, Marvel decides what gets reprinted. So, I, and yeah, this I am taking myself out of this. But I hope we get enough votes for Tomb of Dracula. Don't know much about Marvel, but how's the Moon Knight omnibus start of a story? It's not confusing, is it? Or is it one consistent story? It, it, no, you're not going to be lost at all. That's the Moon Knight omnibus is the beginning of the Moon Knight, uh, Doug Minch and um, storyline. And I think by issue five or six, it's really like a good story that keeps going and going. And I, I don't know. It, I, I really like it. I hope we get a volume two. See, now there's a book that I wish had sold more to immediately get a volume two, but you can still get both. Uh, no, you can't get the direct market copy anymore. I, I don't think you can get the standard edition copy. If you live in the Houston area, Oh, this is from Gabriel Carrasco. If you live in the Houston area, I had to sell my new mutants volume one on candy X-Men volume three, new teen Titans volumes one through five uh, for, to have price books in Webster, Texas. Oh, man, I'm sorry you had to do that. But thank you so much for letting others know. That's really nice. So if you live in that Webster, Texas area or Houston area, go and check out the Half Price Books. That's where his books are. Man, I'm sorry you had to sell that, dude. Do I recommend reading Batman Under the Hood? Yeah, absolutely. It's a good story. I really like that story. And I'm not a Jason Todd fan at all, or I wasn't. But Judd Winnick, man, he brought it. I love that story. Thank you, Dahuan. As a super uh, for the super chat, as a super as a comic superhero fan, do you watch death battle or power scaling videos? Who try to apply science? Uh, okay, I know what you're talking about. Like the actual reality of these characters and when they're fighting, like the science behind it. I've watched a couple mainly because I think 
one of my brothers really liked those kind of videos. Uh, I re I rely on my handbook guide of the Marvel Universe, uh, the official handbook guide to the Marvel Universe to tell me, or the who's who from DC, to tell me who's powerful and who could beat who in a real fight. So, yeah, I do like X-23, Nightcrawler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 fun to make my own team of X-Men. Thanks for the big announcements yesterday, Omar. Thank you for the super chat. It was my pleasure, man. Can you please interview Louise Simonson? I, th I think I'm, yeah, I thought I had reached out to her and uh, Walter. I'd love to interview both of them. I love Wheezy, and I'm a big fan of Walter Simonson's artwork, so yes. JT Gamer, what's up, buddy? When will you release the poll? It's it's almost finished. I just want to make sure that nothing else gets snuck in there like like what we had yesterday. So once I know for sure that this is finalized, and I'm sure they'll be you know, they'll be sneaking some things in here and there. But once I have that, I will release the poll. So look for it here in the upcoming weeks. I want to say two weeks, Dominic. And anybody can access the poll. You don't have to have social media. Um, I, I'll make the video and then I'll leave a link in the description of the video. And you just click on the link and it'll take you to a poll where you can vote. And I think it's like, uh, you, all you need is an email address. That's it. Love Immortal Hulk Hocus Pocus. I love that book. It's it's so good. Um, I'm so glad that Al Ewing is finally getting some recognition. So hopefully his other stuff, like his Ultimates run, will be collected in oversized format one day. Because the guy deserves it. Woo, Jerry. Well, the rights are still with IDW. So I don't know if we're going to get those IDW G.I. Joe hardcovers going. Maybe one day. Is Magneto infant size a true thing in the Silver Age X-Men? Yeah. Uh, in my reading order, I talked about when that happened. And that happened in an issue of Defenders, not an issue of X-Men. Defenders 16, I think, where the mutant Alpha makes all the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants little babies. But for some reason, it had the biggest impact on Magneto. So, um, I love that story. I don't care. And then Mori, I got to mess with his head. His head. Are, hey, Frazier. Yes, both Criminals Volume 1 and 2 are both coming out on April 14th. That's the date that I have so far in the direct market. What's up, Breed Comics? Thank you so much uh, for the super chat. Keep up the good work, Omar. Great interview with Jason Aaron last week. Smash that like button, guys. Hey, I may be talking to you. Uh, that's what some people want to see, how things work over, uh, over in that side of the pond. So, Omar. Oh, yes, uh, the Warren Ellis stuff solid oh that was so good i did an overview of that hardcover um i love the artwork in that and the um, i like the <laughs> it's very it's a very um kung fu type of uh feel to the to the to the way that the panels are drawn when they're fighting like when bones are breaking and stuff i like that it makes it it gives it a cool feel to it omar do you have the Ezreal fallen angel trade paperback yes sadly we only got one we didn't get a volume two out of that. Surfer volume four. I saw that Surfer volume four snuck into the catalog. Volume eight will still come. It just has to be resolicited for another date. Uh, yes, I actually talked to Vincent. So a couple of things. Uh, Vincent, uh, big shout out to Vincent Faust from Dynamite, who's my contact over there. Really nice guy. Uh, we talked about the boys, and that's finally, it's getting finalized. And I can't make an announcement on it yet until they give me the go ahead which i think is it's going to be sometime around the boy season three premieres what he told me and he also told me that the red sonia books are coming out finally so the red sonia signed editions that were supposed to come out last year but then hey the pandemic happened those will be coming out sometime in i think may is what he told me let me let me double check because I was just talking to him the other day and he asked me to make sure I announce that. But the boys, I have to wait for approval from uh, Dynamite and it should be closer to uh, the launch date of season three of the boys. So it looks like the signed copies will be available in stores on May 5th and the final cutoff date is April 12th. So next weekend is when stores have the chance to get this book. So... If you want to reserve one at your local comic book shop, just let them know. So, 
There you go. Um, let's see. Hey, Omar. Hello from London, UK. Omni reprint announcements has me excited. Thanks. Thank you. Me too. I like I like talking to you all about that stuff. Omar, who's your fa favorite Azrael? You really like the Bat Family, don't you, Gabriel? Um, I like uh, Jean Paul Valley. Yeah. I don't know about the Night's End stuff. I don't know. Uh, DC. It seems like they're trying to get their stuff together. Um, I do. I'm gonna. Um, I'll. I'll try to send another email this week to my contact over there to see if there's any updates on this stuff. Uh, Corey, thank you, man. Yeah, I've been watching. Um, I've been watching Invincible, and Amanda and I have been reviewing that and Winter Soldier and Falcon on Fridays, or Falcon Winter Soldier. Between Brew Baker Cap, Annihilation Conquest, and Wolverine and the X Men, I don't think I have anything left to vote for in the reprint poll. And you've been asking about a Green Lantern. You better vote. You better vote for something. Omar, any update on the Omnibus? Oh, to the Predator. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I think uh, I think it will come sometime, probably after the Penguin Random House when that deal is all said and done. So. What's up, JP? Thank you. Big shout out again to Organic Price Books uh, for helping us with the giveaway. Really nice guy. And hey, Omar, what do you think? A possible gallery edition of Longshot? Eh, I was going to make, I'm starting on my list of my top 10 most wanted gallery editions, and both of those are on there because you know I love Arthur Adams and Barry Windsor Smith. So. Hey, Omar, I'm um, going down the road of classic newspaper strips and classic cartoonist collections. Flash Gordon, Prince Valiant, Art Young's work. Any recommendations? Love to see a vid on this, too. Uh, the ones that I have are, well, they're not classic, but they're classic to me, are the Peanuts Collection and the um, um, Far Side. My wife is a huge fan of Calvin and Hobbes. I just recently got the Prince Valiant books. I found them at a store where I had a bunch of, credit and i was like oh, i'm gonna swipe a bunch of these so and i did omar you should read the percy jackson graphic novels i haven't even read the percy jackson books oh glenn you've not read thunderbolts oh thunderbolts man i love that stuff that was one of my biggest most wanted books and it finally came and it's coming out it was a little bit delayed i think it comes out the third week now of um april <laughs> without giving the spoiler and the twist about that book i'm a huge fan of the characters in that story kurt Busiek and fabian isis did an amazing job and it was during the era where the avengers and the fantastic four hulk all those characters were well bruce banner rather uh were shipped over to the image creators for a year so it felt like ah. Uh, Marvel didn't have any superheroes. We had the X-Men, but everybody hated the X-Men because they all blamed them for Onslaught. So these were new characters that came in and just really, really shined with, with, with the X-Men. Now, I wasn't even reading this stuff at the time because I had taken a break from comic books. So I came back and read it, and my friend Shaka gave me a box of like all this, all this stuff, and Thunderbolts was one of them. And I just absorbed all those issues Fabian Nicesa run is solid and then man without giving spoilers away there's a specific and this is just one character in there um that kept messing with my head I'm like okay I really like this character she's awesome wait she's evil oh wait no she's not evil she's crazy wait no she she's just playing everybody she's not crazy no she's crazy I can't spoil it but man I, I really enjoyed it I, I um if you want to see my thoughts on it, I did do a spoiler-free section and a spoiler section on my overview of the book. So I think that video came out a couple of weeks ago, if you want to check that out. What's up, Blindheart? Thank you for the super chat. Omar, because of your announcement yesterday, my 2021 Omnibus list is now at 45. <laughs> Got my fingers crossed for 2022 Marvel Omnibus announcements. Yeah, man, I'm glad. I'm glad that you, um, you're getting a bunch of books, dude. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Do you have any news on the War of the Realms omnibus? So there were a few books that I sent over to Dave, a, a list of books that I sent over to God bless. It sucks not having a co-host and this thing auto focuses. Um, 
there were a few books that I sent over to David that I said these books immediately sold out. At, you know, when they were gone to Diamond, they sold out within minutes at cheap graphic novels, in stock trades, Tales of Wonder. Um, and that list consisted of Absolute Carnage, War of the Realms, Infinity Gauntlet. Those were the three books. There were, I, sent, I think I sent them five, but those are the three that I remember the most. So we are getting an Absolute Carnage restock. So hopefully that will mean sometime we will get um, a uh, War of the Realms restock. Thank you so much, Scotty G. I really appreciate the super chat, my brother. Happy Easter to you, Melanie, and your family. Thank you. Thank you. My wife's working today, so I look forward to uh, her being over um, here not tomorrow. Michael Williams, thank you so much for the super chat. If you consider ranked choice voting for the poll, we have. We've looked at different ways of doing it, and I think the way that it's going to be done is the best way to do it. Because before we did it, I had everybody write in one choice, and that was it. But given the option of three choices and made it a, make it and weight it, I think – that was a better choice to do. So kind of gives a wiggle room there for other books that you may want on your list. Hi, uh, morning, Omar. Does stacking... Rob Swallow, you changed your, your icon, man. I didn't recognize you. Uh, does stacking omnibus ruin them? I don't think it ruins them, no. I mean, I, uh, unless you got somebody like kids or cats knocking them down. So... Ringmaster, hey Omar, how can Wolverine Volume Two be out of print? Other than Amazon, I haven't seen anyone uh, anyone pre-order on CGN or IST. Did I miss something? Uh, okay, uh, thank you. Great question. Thank you for the super chat. So the way that it works uh, with pre-orders through the direct market is every retailer and read comics. I should have had him in here or somebody. Um, I had a uh, Mac. My interview with Max. I explained a little bit of this. Uh, from cheap graphic novels but the way that it works is every retailer has something called the foc which is the final cutoff date for ordering books so let's use the example of x-men inferno let's say x-men inferno <clears throat> sorry x-men inferno came out last week however um the final cutoff date was i think uh let's just say let's just say november 1st so Retailers had until November 1st to put in as many orders for Inferno Omnibus uh, that they needed, whether it was pre-orders or whether they think they could sell them. So places like DCB DCBS or Tales of Wonder that actually take pre-orders could actually factor out how many they needed. Whereas places like In Stock Trades and Cheap Graphic Novels that don't have a pre-ordering system, I know Cheap Graphic Novels is working on one, are just kind of gauging how many copies they'll need. So those numbers go to Diamond and, and your local comic book shop as well. They'll, they'll put in a number, uh, one, two copies, whatever copies they want. Those numbers go to Marvel. Marvel then says, huh, okay, wait, we have this number. Let's just say 2,000 copies, right? Let's, let's print 2,500 copies to make sure that the direct market gets enough or Diamond gets enough in case people need a back order. So let's say, then this, I'm making up numbers, okay? Let's say 2,500 copies go from the printer to Diamond and that's it. Meaning that, there are 2,000 copies that are already spoken for and 500 copies that are extra sitting at Diamond. So any retailer in Stock Trace, Cheap Graphic Novels can go, huh, I'm already sold out of Inferno day one. I'm going to grab those 500 copies that are sitting at the distribu uh, distribution center. And then those 500 copies are gone, meaning the book is out of print. That's what happened with Wolverine Volume 2. The copies that are going to be going to Diamond are already spoken for from in stock trades i don't know how many they ordered from cheap graphic novels also don't know how many they ordered but if you ordered like if you pre-ordered from dcbs or tells of wonder you should be getting your copies that that's what it means amazon is a different beast the book market is a different beast because they don't really count pre-orders they have an algorithm so if it's an x title they base it on however many the previous x title sold it's crazy they have an, it's an automatic system how that works I really hope I did an okay job explaining that, I, and I'm sorry if I didn't. I sometimes I go on way too long about things, but I think that's that's how it works. That's the short of it. So now that we're getting Silver Age, thank you again. Uh, insert clever name here for the super chat. So now that we're getting a Silver Age Thor reprint, does that mean Silver Age X Men reprint in the future? It could be. That could be on our poll. I mean, it's going to be on the poll, but it's up to you all. You know, to decide what you all want. My job is just to let Marvel know what you all want. That's it. And to announce it. And it's a really cool job. 
I can't like it's amazing. Okay, so thank you, Reed, for stepping in. Uh, Simon. <laughs> uh so final cutoff date for Wolverine Omnibus 2 was January 18th. So that's how long stores, retailers, local comic shops, uh online retailers had to order Wolverine Omnibus Volume 2. Then Marvel based the printing numbers on those pre-orders and Amazon's pre-orders. So Misfit Rick, thank you for the super chat. Looking forward to that Silver Age Thor. Thanks for the announcement. Also, have you done a favorite Superman stories list? I've done a favorite JLA, I think. Favorite Wonder Woman. No, I don't think I have done a favorite uh Superman. I think that would be really fun. Uh, read uh, read comics is saying we keep selling out of Wolverine number volume one and now four printings. We may have a few more left. Send me an email and I will check. That's if you live over in the UK. Uh, send let them know. Perfect detail, Omar. Exactly what happened. Good vibes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, I looked for that stupid freaking. Uh, okay, so uh, Alex is asking if the impulse trade is still in the catalog from DC. No. But they keep moving things around. So it gives me hope that, oh, they're just going to move this to another date. That's what I'm hoping. I don't think it's going to. God, I hope it's not canceled because they canceled my omnibus. They canceled the classic line. They better not do this to me the third time around. So as far as reprints, anything is possible right now. I will put, like I mentioned, I'll make a separate video in the next coming weeks. Announcing where to go to vote for the books that you all want printed. Okay? That's the way it will work. Do not come yell at the middleman. I'm just a messenger if your book does not make it to the top 10. Right. That catalog gives me anxiety. Are you talking about the, the Hashit or Penguin Random House catalog? Because that... Both are a nightmare to navigate through. I don't look forward to, to, to doing that. And uh, thank God my buddy uh, Brooks Loves Books helps me out with that stuff. Oh, there she is. Hey, baby. Hi, sweetie. Thanks for joining Hi, us. Hi, everyone. Sure. I was trying to uh, rush through my lunch. And I was like, I'll just jump on. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Will Inferno have a reprint? Uh, a restock, perhaps. Yes. Perhaps it will have a restock. So um, it won't be a reprint. It'll just be the same ISBN, and they'll have more. Um so this week I'll email them and let them know what you know that's already sold out. Um, People are saying hi, baby. Yeah, thanks, guys. And uh, Infinity Studios has been asking for you to show his uh, artwork. Did you download it? No. Could you? No, it's on. Oh yes, I can. Thank you, baby. <laughs> See, because I wasn't there getting ready, <laughs> so. Hi, you guys. I was watching earlier. <laughs> Adam, you're kind of like that angel that gave Mary the good news, except you tell us about Omnis instead of virgin pregnancies. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That, <laughs> oh. No, David is that angel because his last name is Gabriel, right? Wasn't that the angel? Or was that another angel? Melanie, you know Bible. Yeah, seriously, I, uh, bleh, bleh, I was reading. Uh, it's my lunch. Oh, wait, I was on during work earlier. But it's my lunch, so and I have a long lunch, so let's see. Okay, I'm going to download the artwork. Thank you, baby. Uh, there was a really good question here about... Okay, uh, this is from Zoom. Dennis, thank you, Dennis. DC just announced Superman, Batman Volume 2, and Batman TMNT on the biz. Um, I added those last, last week. I made my video, and things were still popping up. But the one that was added yesterday to the catalog makes me really happy, and that is Flash by Jeff Johns, Omnibus Volume 3. That's coming out. It's doing a little bit of double dipping with the Flashpoint Omnibus, but at least those orphaned issues of like Flash Rebirth are going to be in there. Uh, Flash, who is not Wally West, I don't want to spoil that for anybody, uh, run is going to be in there. So. And happy Easter. Do you know how long CGN takes to reply? I have a damaged book trying to get an issue resolved. Thank you, Amazing Asian. He's trying to get it down to 48 hours. It, uh, but if you've sent him an email and it's been more than 48 to 72 hours, let, let him know. Um, 
shoot him another email. I don't think that's that's going to be an issue. I think he said four days. Oh, did he say four days? Okay, I'm sorry. He was trying to get it to 48 hours. So four days. Okay. Give him four days. I guess an interview because uh, uh, it's him personally day. that's answering all the emails. Hello? Are you somebody's still there? Knocking, yeah, somebody's knocking at the door and Strider's going oh, a little okay. crazy. God bless. Who's knocking at the door? I can't answer it for you. I'm sorry. I know. Uh, I'll be right back. Take some Q&A. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I was going to say, all right. Let's see. Well, Keenan, thank you for the super chat. I'm going to let him uh, answer that question. Hey, guys. I had a lot of fun last night talking with you guys during uh, the, the uh, live chat with Amazing Amanda and Omar about, you know, comic book media. And my day's going okay. Uh, we, I, I'd rather not be at work, but... Eh, it's okay. I'm tired. Easy on the snacks. <laughs> I ate a healthy, sensible lunch. Somebody and just wanted to share the love of God with us. Cheetos. What? Somebody just wanted to share the love of God with us. And oh, I said, man. I don't have time right now. I'm doing a comic book show. <laughs> you did not say that. And I got some activity yogurt, so it's all good. It's all good. Of course I did. Oh, Keenan, I actually talked about this in my upcoming collected editions for April. Thank you for the super chat. What is going on with the Darkness hardcover? Should have been out in uh, the direct market in January. Can we get a Ron Lamb Silver Surfer omnibus though? Yes, I love that. That stuff is so good. I love Silver Surfer by Ron Lamb, uh, Jim Starlin, Ron Mars when he took over the run. So Darkness is so strange because people are getting cancellations from pre-orders from the direct market, but the book market got it. So... um. <laughs> The only reason I knew this was because Cheap Graphic Novels ordered some of the books outside of Diamond to get Darkness in. So they went through the book market to get it. So it seems like Diamond got cut, um, cut, shanked, by not just Dark Horse on the Usagi Yojimbo saga, which is a freaking tragedy, but also some of the image titles too in hardcover format. Whoa, now, hey, now, this isn't OnlyFans. What are you doing? Saturday morning show. Who are you talking about? Your camera fell. Oh, I was trying to find my phone. <laughs> uh, somebody was commenting about the Trigun poster. Here's my, oh goodness, how can I do my My classroom with the uh, art by Omar. Oh, I do and that. For Omar. Friends. And they might be giants. The awesome why me Wolverine poster that's just completely ridiculous and it makes me laugh. And my brother in law artwork. And who drew that Wolverine? Uh, that was Tom Rainey. And I got what else do I got up there? What is it? Oh, I got other stuff. I like to decorate with pictures. What's going on? I don't have any room to hide new books, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jack Ferry. Omar, is there anything that DC can do that would move you to cancel them and, pr and protest? Well, th no. They've already canceled a bunch of the books that I've wanted. There's really nothing. I love DC. I, I want DC to, to bring out more books, but uh, I don't think I, I don't think I would cancel them. Maybe oh. hire Daniel Wayne in charge of Nightwing. That Tom, dude, that Tom Taylor, though, that's that's good. Okay. Oh, sorry. Are you done? Uh, yeah. Mad boy, hey, I was gonna take your picture with me to hang up at work today, but I said I left it for Omar to show just in case I couldn't jump on. So, do you want to? While I'm downloading artwork, yeah, you I got it. what somebody else sent us. So this is uh from Mad Boy. Fifty-two. And uh, this is Spider Melanie. There she and is. That's that power and invisibility. No, no, I'm sorry, not invisibility. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. X ray vision. X ray vision. That's because uh, somebody else was saying earlier I was. Uh, a beautiful note about like, uh, wait, uh, like he's got his email here, you know, just if you want to ever ch uh, chat with him. Yes, Boy. Read it out loud. Melanie, it's your time to shine. I hope you like it. Her powers are webbing, obviously, and x ray vision. Yikes. Now, Mr. Omar, I would like to know if Usagi Ojimbo is okay for kids. It is, 100%. Also, Omar, I was wondering if you ever want to get in touch with me. 
talk to me. Here's my email. Do not read out loud. <laughs> he wrote that in parentheses. But yeah, if you ever want to talk uh, by email or we could have a Zoom meeting, I feel like uh, I'm, I'm going into a business meeting. You pay me. Yeah, it's pronounced Maddox. Maddox. Yeah, I didn't say Maddox. Second PS, if you want to talk with me, Melanie, same information and everything, so you can too. What a oh, sweet note. Hey, I'll shoot you an email, dude. Sweet note, man. Um, And again, this is from him. Maddox. And I still haven't forgotten. I'm going to do your yeah. Avenger. Okay, so we need uh, to hang it up for the week behind uh, you on the bookshelf, and then I'll bring it to my classroom. Yeah. Okay. Hang it up there. Okay. Yeah. So... This uh we got let me let me make sure I'm not missing any super chats uh or any questions really quick. This take me forever to get this artwork. I know why QA felt weird. No sugar man. Where is Sugar Man? He wasn't there last week either. Well okay. okay. Omar, I'm pumped for that TMNT Batman on the stake you Lionheart. I know me too. Happy Easter to you and your family. Thank you. I was hoping that they would do an omnibus format with that Freddie Williams artwork, dude. That's going to be awesome. X-ray vision such a mom superpower. They see everything. Um, <laughs> we got this amazing book called Arcade Imperfect. And this came in just yesterday. And it was sent to us. Um, Jerry Ellis sent it to us with a note. So he is one of the authors of this book. And in the back, there's space heroes. These are people, I guess, uh, that yeah, help put the, book books together. put the book together. And two of the people are the Uncanny Omar and Astonishing Melanie. That's, That's really awesome, cool. man. That is so cool. So this is a book about arcade games, arcade book, arcade titles. That is so cool. We have information per page. I haven't had a chance to read it yet because we just got it like last yeah, night at home at eight o'clock and yesterday oh, I from the post office. Yeah. So this is from Jerry. Um, hey, Omar Melanie, hope you guys are okay, are doing well. As promised, here's a copy of my new book, Arcade Imperfect. It's an efficient book. Uh, look or look back at the 8-bit home computer conversions of those classic arcade games of the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Hope you enjoy. Maybe it's a definitive. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. You want to read this? Yeah, hold it up to the screen. I'll read for you. <laughs> I've signed the book for you inside the front cover. And there's also an added bonus treat for you both inside um, the back cover. Check out numbers 150 and 151 of Space Heroes list. That is so cool, man. Thanks so much for the videos you produce, YouTube, every day. They're wonderfully presented and extremely informative, and they've provided me with a lot of entertainment and sustenance during the past year as I've been putting the finishing touches on the arcade and perfect. Please keep them coming and stay safe. Peace and love, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. This is so freaking cool. Yeah, it, it really made so my day. Cool. It, yeah. I took a picture. I'm going to post it. Thank you. We're in a book. <laughs> um, right. Hey, is the reprint of um, Ven Omnibus Volume 1 canceled? I can answer that with a show and tell. Melanie, take the lead. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Tevin, Melanie, where are you at with Miss Four now? Sam, man, right? Oh, you're not here to answer me, Omar. Um, oh, answer everything. I know what I. I know. I know what I could do. Okay, doing a Sandman like comprehensive reading order, or um, I don't know anything that entails a lot of memory. Um, I <laughs> am so intimidated to do. So I'm gonna do my top. Sandman moments that would be way more manageable for me, and then um, this or yeah, early next week I want to post a video because I just read Superman: The Last Son, and spoilers, I enjoyed it. And I'm not a Superman reader, yeah, and it was really good. Um, but yeah, I got busy at work again, so now I was like, wow, I haven't not posted a video in uh, a long time. Somebody said I look tired. Probably the same. She's been working like shifts. Uh, but here's Venom. It is coming out. But it, this is from the printer. So this is the new printing of it. I just got it in a couple of days ago. Uh, so I'll be doing a comparison video sometime soon. But first, I'm going to do uh, the uh, what is it? The Untold Tales of Spider Man book, Omnibus by uh, Kurt Music. So, oh my God. Nope. 
no, don't. This guy again? No, sweetie, we're just talking. Completely okay, keep ignore. Going. Thank you. Um, oh, thank you, Breakfast of Champions. And who said? Oh, wait, Sugar Man? I think I saw Sugar Man's picture. There he is. Arcade beat him, beat him up on my poop. I like how uh, Chanasuki worded that. Yeah, wait, where's cool. Sugar Man? He's here. I don't see him. Look, did somebody say sugar? Hashtag no sleep till Punisher Rucka Omni. There we go. <laughs> Are you tired? <laughs> no sleep. Oh, never mind. This is really weird not being next to you. I know. Unblock my comment. I can't. My wife said no. So I, I can't. I got to listen no, to her. I'll just, I'll happy, just block. Happy wife. Happy hey, life. I blocked him. I was giving him some words of wisdom. No, you're good. Yeah, Melanie ain't got time for that. <laughs> I gotta eat my yogurt. All right. What up, my glip gloves? <laughs> David <Yes>. Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> I love that phrase. I want to steal it. Hi, Omar. I'm thinking of buying Doom Patrol and Planetary Omnibus, but having second thoughts. Are they worth it? Do you like Grant Morrison? You like crazy stories that are don't make any sense at first. And then you're like, oh my gosh, this actually is really genius, but I may need to reread it again. And it's a huge book. Then go for Grant Morrison's uh, Doom Patrol. It's wonderful. Planetary is pretty straightforward, but it's one of the best Warren Ellis books that he ever put out there. Oh, I will say, um, I wonder if sometimes trolls are kids like you used to be who dare each other to like get on and say things to, to start a fight. I was never racist about it, though. Okay, that's true. That's true. But I could so see you doing that. Oh, yeah. I was a, well, I was an a-hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I love giving it back. But, you know. That's my wife said no. Oh, Melanie, my girlfriend and I are gonna read Remina now after yeah. watching your video. That's awesome. It's fun and obviously it's quick. It's manga, um, so good. I'm glad. I'm glad we brought happiness into somebody's life. Restart the Q and A now. The Sugar Man is in. <laughs> uh, Jose said, "Where's Leo? He only likes movies and Amanda, so he doesn't yeah. join us." And if Amanda ain't here, then he ain't doing. <laughs> <laughs> He's settling for less. He just puts up with me because I'm Amanda's co-host. <laughs> That's why I'm hesitant buying JLA Morrison. I don't know. I know a lot of no, no, no. JLA JLA Morrison is straightforward, dude. It's not like his. It's it's not like Morrison's Doom Patrol. It's not like Morrison's um, <laughs> Invincibles. It, it's it, it's seriously. Uh, just straightforward uh, superhero storytelling. There's nothing crazy other than the fact that an angel joins the team. An actual angel. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward superheroics. I promise. Hashtag, where is it? Hashtag Alpha Omnibus on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> you can get that from uh, our spread shop. Link in the description. Okay, and then one more plug. My travel mug. I love this thing because it's got this little um, indentation for your finger, for your thumb. I just really enjoy that. It's satisfying. The end. Check it out. Hey, Fetty uh, says, hey, a-hole. So that's your new name instead of Lord Omar. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, a-hole, LOL. What new Omni you want that has been announced or talked about? No, Al. That's obvious. What do I want? I, I think it's that's a pretty easy answer. Uh, I've I had the set goals for the channel, and especially when uh, I started talking to Marvel, and I, ha I have three goals, and one of them is New Warriors Omnibus Volume Two. It's what I wanted. I mean, you're getting there. You're getting there. X Men, you know, we have X X Men will come. Uncanny X Men Five will come. We're getting an Uncanny X Men Six. That's that's easy. But my goal is to get enough people interested in the characters that I love that are so un like so much underdogs and then mm, getting a volume two of that series. And then, yes, X-Men by Chuck Austin. <laughs> I'll get it. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, you will. Um, Adjectiveless Martin, this is my classroom. 
Um, I teach at a residential school for people with mental disabilities. And on the weekends during the school hours, it's recreation. So teachers have to work two weekends a year to help out with reg staff. Um, so this morning it was computer lab. So I was just chilling, talking to students. That's why I could get on the, the live chat when it started. <laughs> so um, yeah, I really like my job. I don't like working weekends, but it is what it is. So, And it's not every, hey, hey I work weekends. I'm here every Saturday answering questions, even from people that want me to go back to Mexico. And I only visited Mexico. I'm from Peru. Is there any way to get from Mexico? Um, yes, you can get NMC Church in, Church? Church. <laughs> in the UK. Uh, that's why I picked Spreadshop because it's international shipping. So, um, except for the Philippines, which is really sad. But there's a huge list of other places. So, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, check out our spread shop. We do have a lot of merchandise there. It's really, it's really cool. Like people are really happy with uh, the customer service they've gotten there. Like I think somebody, somebody, oh, the guy that messaged me about his shirt, like how it got messed up. Uh, I was like, man, I hope that's a one-off. So he emailed them and he got another shirt. They told him to keep it and just, yeah, it, I got and, it. and he said it was fine. Really? Then, I meant to ask you, I got the unisex, um, what's it called? Like hoodie. And I, I I wasn't thinking it was unisex. I got a large and it was too big and they let me keep it and just send a medium. Mm. Um, so. Um, oh, we got a nice picture. I'm going to, uh, this is from Richard Denny. Let me, let me share this picture because he shared it on social media. He got his, uh, oh, um, he got hey, his yeah. picture. Oh, I was just going to say really quick, that artwork, um, I'm having a hard time loading it up and trying to do this at the same time. So next week I'll be there and I'll have it all ready, Arthur. And we've got a couple of others. So I'm sorry, Arthur. Melanie has failed you for the last time. Arthur. Look, look how happy Richard looks with that. That's awesome. Amazing. Uh, he's got, does he live on, does he live in a pond? Like by a pond? That looks nice. It looks like a nice neighborhood. So yeah. Matthew, how do you say his last name? Drew that. Mangy. Maggie, he does commissions um, on Twitter. He's on Twitter, and then those are the books you threw in. Just yep. So like, I always like to know in there. Some sugar on top, sugar man. That's my sugar <laughs> on top. <laughs> I like throwing extra books in for people when um, when they win. Omar, do you know if we're gonna get an Amazing Spider-Man Volume One and Volume Two, X-Men Volume One and Volume Five from the Epic Collection line? I just announced two reprints. Doctor, what were they? Doctor Strange. Somebody help me out, please. <laughs> Uh, Doctor Strange, separate realities, getting a reprinting in December, and so is Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man No More. Both of those are getting a reprint in December. And uh, more will come. Just give it some time. I would attend the NMC Church. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two-hour session on Saturdays. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Mark Zimmer, thank you so much. He said he's still wearing his shirt. Yes. So uh, Mark posted a picture of himself with his NMC it oh my gosh, it is t-shirt looking great. How did you put it? Oh, you made a joke, a pud. I can't remember. Um, hey, Arturo says, Omar, you'll be welcome here in Mexico. And if Omar goes to Mexico, I'll go with him. Yeah, like there's nothing wrong with being from Mexico. <laughs> what like I like that that's the insult. Come on, man. Yeah. All right, we got a super chat from Mega Shremmer. Trimser, sorry. The Alf joke is good, fun. I ordered Alf Omnibus t-shirt, but what we really need is a reprint of the Chuck Norris Karate Commandos miniseries. Okay, well, I remember history. that comic. I remember that comic. Oh, oh, Curtis Finley on Facebook. He's posted he only needs three more issues to completely You're, cu you're cutting out, baby. You're so I said, are you gonna find that? Oh. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can now. Hello. I can, baby. Oh, I thought you were pausing for dramatic effect. So I said that Curtis Finley said he only needs three more uh, ALF issues to complete the set. And he's doing custom binding, so I'm asking if he's going to custom bind it. He's crazy. He's he Marvel Podcast. He's got a YouTube and a podcast, Marvel Podcast. Go ahead. Um. Uh Oh, that's, this is a quick question from Roger Stark. Hey, Omar, why don't you get the MMWs, Marvel Masterworks, for those that don't know, uh, to fill gaps uh, between Omnis. Omnis like Daredevil and Wolverine. 
don't have Marvel Masterworks restorations yet. Those Marvel Masterworks aren't out. Does that bother you? <sighs> because I have a, I have a addictive personality. A <laughs> 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 As you could probably tell, because I know that if I've given away every one of the Marvel masterworks that Marvel has sent me for review, by the way, I love you all. And that's how I pay it forward. Because I know if I keep one, I'm going to be like, man, this Dazzler Marvel masterworks is pretty cool. I need to go find volume one. And then that will lead me down the path of like, wait, but I really like Spider Woman and that's not available in any other format. Let's find those. And then I'm going to go down the path of that. Why don't I get X-Men, X-Men, I can get the X-Men Masterworks. So I, I don't know. I, I kind of stay away because then I'll be buying a whole bunch of Masterworks again. And you know when those go out of print, they go for an insane amount of money because Marvel hardly ever reprints those. Oh, cool. People are getting their packages. JT just messaged oh, yeah. me. Omnibus and his free comic that I threw in there. So good, good. I'm glad. I'm happy. Happy to see people get their stuff. What's up, buggies? How you doing, buddy? There are 50 ALF comics, I believe. I like that you know that. You're the ALF expert now. No, I'm not. What's up, Connor? You get to make Avengers team of six members. Can pick any characters from Marvel. Go! Oh, I love this. Good question. Melanie, go first. Any six characters from Marvel. Do not say ALF. Meet my cheetah. Yo, you go first. You go first. Oh my gosh, Black Knight, one hundred percent Black Knight. I love. Yeah, yeah, I don't know anything about him. You really like him, huh? I I love the leather jacket. Yours, I would almost say all the leather jacket Avengers, but I'm not gonna go that route. Um, I I pick the Black Knight, Scarlet Witch. Uh, but now that I'm open to any X Men, uh, Justice to lead the team, and that is Marvel Boy from New Warriors, Firestar. Um, uh, because that that's her. That's his main. That's his main. Um, go. Oh, I want to throw an obscure character, Dark Hawk, the classic Dark Hawk. And to wrap up that team, we need we need another lady. We need another lady. Me? No. I've got webbing in in X ray vision powers. Spider Woman's got that, except for X ray vision. Uh, I'm trying to think outside the box. See, that's what I, I feel. They've already done that with like they've, they've already used the X-Men, they've used Eternals. Who haven't they used? What character? Because mine is cliche in our use. Spider Man, Wolverine, and oh, uh, let's go with Lilith, <laughs> Dracula's daughter. There's my six. Wow, that Out is weird. Um. Uh, I bought, uh, thank you, Breakfast of Champions for the Super Chat. I bought Nautica Valley uh, Valley of the Wind box set on your recommendation. I love it. Thanks. One small problem, though. Now I want the Battle Angel and Akira box set. Well, you're in luck because they seem to keep reprinting those. So even though they go out of print, just wait around. I promise they'll be back. All right. Thank you, Adam. And I still have reading Pluto, by the way. The quickness he dismissed her with. This is what I get every day. Every day. I don't every know what day. And did you know Jack Ferry is from Peru? Yes. Okay. I did not know that. We have a couple of peruanos aquí. Viva Peru, carajo. Cheeto Man only lasted for one issue of Avengers after he kept leaving all the cheese dust all over the place. There's no cheese dust. <laughs> I won't lick my fingers <laughs> on camera. Oh, on the air. <laughs> Loving that reprint announcement. You the man, Omar. Thank you, Adrian. You all made that happen. We We all did it. Yeah, I just got to deliver the good news. So what's this mean? Oh, Carapulcara. Brew. I'll tell you later. I've seen the battle oh, okay. <laughs> uh, a few times. Yeah. Seriously, if you wait around, that will be coming back. Oh, God, we have Peru carajos. Yeah, man. Love it. At end man totally. Oh, okay, they're now now he's talking to they're talking to each other. Up to their conversation. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. I feel like the teacher in class. You got something to share with the rest of the class? Is is Betty's comment sexual in nature? I don't get it. Where? Cheeto looking fingers are usually. Yeah, behind a paywall. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was confused. I'm like, what? 
Mega Shremser, how are you going to try to put me in a corner like that? Should we give up hope? Never. On a pad volume four in 2021? Maybe in 2021. But don't give up hope on pad uh, volume four. I love, I, guess what I, missed. I love how he comes in. You know, about an hour. I mean, you need a recap. Recap. Need a recap. Where's my recap at? <laughs> uh, Amanda. Let's see. Yeah, I need Amanda for that. I mean, I need Amanda like to chime in with a recap of everything that's happened. Mm -hmm. Um, Omar answered a lot of questions, and I came on late. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm cracking open Uncanny X Men Volume Three. What a great feeling! Oh. Do you have Amazing Spider-Man Epic Volume 7 reprint? Do you need one, Mad Maddox? I've got an extra one I was saving for the next giveaway. If you want it, it's yours, buddy. Wait, where do you live? I paid so much for international shipping. Dude, you you just opened a floodgate. Now people are going to be like, can I have this? Can I have that? I'll send no, no, it no, 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 no. He's a, he's a kid that writes us letters and, and, and draws me pictures. No, I completely agree. However, you announced it on the live chat. Now everyone's going to say I'm 10 years old. <laughs> Send me something. Send me Uncanny X-Men Volume 2, Omar. Please. <laughs> please. No, uh, Christopher, you're thank you. Oh, yeah. oh, it's Christopher. What's up, buddy? Appreciate all you, uh, yeah. all you both do. My question for today is, any chance from Fantastic Four's heroes return omnibus in the future, in the near future? 100%. Um, keep in mind, that's the way that we got Thor. They collected them in trading paperback format and col complete collected editions. Uh, same thing with Captain America and Iron Man, and then we got the Omnibus. So, it will come. I promise. I am I'm still going to do Manga Hidden Gems. Yep. <laughs> I'm actually working um, through my list of Hidden Gems for this month. Because that's a fun segment. I love uh, getting people to check out new books. If Marvel doesn't reprint OHCs, how do you think they'll reprint Fall of the Mutants and Extinction, Ag Extinction Agenda? My thoughts, just my thoughts. Uh, Fall of the Mutants just needs a new cover on it, and it can become and it can come out as an omnibus. I would love for them to add a couple of things that I have in my head so far, but we'll see. As far as Extinction Agenda, I would put that with Days of Future Present. Put in a couple of minis, maybe. I don't know how to flesh that one out, honestly. That would be a thin omnibus, but that's the way I would get them to do it. And we have one from, oh, what's up, Omni Nation? How you doing, buddy? Started his own channel. Uh, hey, Omni, you guys are uh, amazing as usual. Omar, your reprint announcement video had me hollering at work. My boss was like, <laughs> somebody messaged me on our Facebook and said that they were driving and they had to pull over. Wow. That's pull really over cool. Like, take it all in because he was like each one of those books was a book that I wanted and it kept getting better and better. Dude. And you like you. Yeah. Oh, you already talked about that, right? That you filmed the budget meeting. I did not tell them what happened behind the scenes. Oh, and then David Gabriel was like, okay, here's the announcements, but you don't have time to make a video. And you said, I got my tie on. Let's go. <laughs> make a video and put, put it out. <laughs> That's exactly how it happened. I like I texted him. I'm like, it's too late. I got my tie on. Let's do it. Uh, well, I'm currently at the hospital. You're making my day better. I'm sorry, Mario. Yeah. I hope you're okay. And it's hope just you're resting and recuperating, right? Yeah. I hope it's just a temporary thing. Seriously. I dang it's it's begun. Can I get a deed to your house? Look, Maddox has one. He was just wondering if you oh. have Okay. okay, I've got I've got one, buddy. I've got one. Thank you, thank you, Matt. What a nice guy. Are you doing a Met My X in the next day? We our next Met crayons, My crayons. Eleven hundred. Um, I think Melanie was cutting out. Yeah, she's cutting out, so she can't hear. Oh, there she is. No, I can't. Yeah, I hear. Okay. Uh, the next Met My X is on April the 9th. Friday, April 9th at nine o'clock. All four of us are coming back to Map Excalibur. Now it's volumes three and four. Hola, Omari Melanie. Loving X-Men Omnibus Volume 1. And now excited for Flash Omnibus Volume 3. Thanks for all the help, NMC. You are so welcome. You're so welcome. We did have a question from Mario. There he is. Mario, one question. Are we ever going to get a Hulk by Peter David Omnibus Volume 2? I never had a chance to get it in the UK, and I heard it was difficult in the US too. 
I hope we will get a stealth reprint. Any insider info? That was one of the other books that I sent over to, to Marvel to let them know that these books went out of print immediately. So hopefully it will it will get a restock. And I hope you're able to get it. Uh, oh, this is an excellent question. What omnibus do you think people will be mainly bugging you to push for the reprint now after that bomb of announce? I remember saying that too. I'm like, what are y'all going to bug me about now? For over a year, it's been Fantastic Four by Hickman. For, over, for almost two years, it's been... Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. I think it's going to be more Silver Age stuff, probably like the X-Men, until everybody reads it and they're like, oh, that's why this stuff was canceled. Yikes. <laughs> um, oh. That's for sure, but welcome one. We need a Don Rosa Duck Comics reading order overview. Don't I you do, have one? I would love to do an overview. But I'm oh, well, what the video did you do a couple years ago? I did a Carl, I did Carl Marks at first. Those are harder to do a reading order on because there are no volume numbers on the side, whereas Don Rosa actually comes in chronological order, but they're releasing the life and times of Scrooge McDuck in a gigantic gold, comes with a gold coin, like $250 limited edition set. And I'm like, I don't need that, but I want it really bad. <laughs> so, uh. Hey, Kyle. This dude, dude he posts a lot of... Uh videos of him doing drum covers on his channel. H Happy Easter weekend, everyone. Sorry I'm late, church musician, very busy this weekend. I'm gonna take a wild guess and you play the drums, right? That's really cool. Thank you so much, Kyle, uh, for tuning in. He's a good guy. He's the, he's the Phil Collins guy, right? Yes. Yeah. Matt, thank you for the super chat. Any idea of War of the Kings omnibus reprint or restock? The other two in the trilogy came back in stock recently, but not the main event. Well, each one is an event. So Annihilation is an event all on its own. So is Annihilation Conquest and then War of the Kings. Now, we got Annihilation Conquest reprinted. That was voted on our top 10 last year, and they reprinted it. So the goal is to get War of the Kings in there this year in the top 10. So it's up to you all. Like I said, uh, that poll will be going up here in the next couple of weeks. I want to make sure that Marvel doesn't have any more stealth things so you don't waste a vote. So it's up to you all. Do not kill the messenger. Me. <laughs> Marco, hey Omar, do you think we'll get a Venom to this volume 4 or an agent of Venom? Yeah, I think we will. 100%. Now, I think it will probably be agent Venomnibus so they can put the Cullen Bun stuff in there with the Rick Remender stuff. <laughs> I am 40 and I have a dodgy yeah, meat. No. Avengers by Hickman will probably be in there. New Avengers. And I think New Avengers is what people would want, but then they would want a volume two, and that all depends on how well the sales of a reprint of a New Avengers would be. Does Mutant Massacre come after Uncanny 4? Yep. That's exact. Wait a minute. Bavarian, you ain't seen my reading orders? I'm done with you. We're, we're done. Do you see how uh, you're a git? It's not a, a misspelling. Omar, you git. You git? You made me buy all the Berserk Deluxe the other week, and now the Duck Books box sets I can get hold of. Three arrived, three on the way. Congratulations. You're welcome. <laughs> you call me a git. <laughs> Hello, glad to be here. I was wondering if you or anyone would purchase a copy of the DC. I'm going to be getting it to do an overview of uh, because, you know, this is this is what I do for a living now. And a lot of people are asking me to do these books that I normally would not have gotten if, you know, we have Patreon and, and it, it's, you know, people are really kind. So I don't mind getting that at all. I'm doing an overview of the who's who. So who's who is kind of like the handbook guide to the Marvel universe is the DC version of that. And it's a huge book. It's like 1300 pages. I think. Wow. Oh, Emilio. Thank you for the super chat. Went down mm -hmm. the road rabbit hole and ordered my first Omni from oh, uh, organic price books this week oh, good. by Donnie Cates. I blame you. You're welcome. <laughs> that book might go out of print for a lot of people that are like, I'm not getting that book. Ipsy, what are you posting? Oh, they're sharing the shoot. It's it, does it show up as a hyperlink though? Um, or is it just yeah? Or, oh, you want me to check on YouTube itself? Yeah. <laughs> so it's the catalog that they're updating right now. Oh. Whoa, why is that? 
so, like had to order one. Sorry. Honey. Yep. Yeah, so it looks like the catalog's being updated. But we knew about the Bronze Age Volume 3, right? Oh, oh gosh, I hate this catalog so much. Oh, yeah. Arya said they show up as hyperlinks. Why didn't we just ask? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I just ordered volume two of the 2018 Venom run. Um, issues one through 33. Pre order 34 and 35. What are your thoughts on this run so far? I pre ordered the King and Black Tree paperback. How would you suggest I integrate that in terms of reading? What a well worded question. Um, I, I really enjoyed the run. I think Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman are killing it on that title. And. They are introducing new things that have never been done with Venom before. And I thought that was really cool. Where to read The King in Black? It's towards the end of his run. So probably, I want to say issues 30s. I, I get these in collected editions, so I can't keep up with collect uh, with numbers. But King in Black should be around issues 35, 36 maybe? Don't worry. I'm sure there will be an oversized hardcover of that. Too. The only... Marvel title I read regularly is Daredevil, and I still love this channel. Thank you, Lars. We love you too, man. Uh, Mega Shrimps are saying it's sweet because I watch your videos at work. Well, also, I just wanted to read the chat. and um, But I did watch your Roger Stern's Omnibus video, and that is what convinced me to read the Hobgoblin issues. Oh, I could have just told you. You could have had the whole live experience. You wouldn't have the passion in your voice as you do in the video. I have passion in my voice all the time. Need to leave, but thank you for the chat and have a nice weekend. You too, Cedric. Have a good no, one. No, sometimes I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or genuine. I'm being sarcastic. So that's the answer to your question, kind of, sort of. Certainly, our Nimoy's music career. How's your hashtag Spring of Spider Man going? Um, dude, Tyler's killing it on Super Squad D, um, his YouTube channel. He's done a lot of videos. And um, next week, I'm supposed to join him and. Um, but yeah, it has been busy and I read Superman, so uh, I need to get back. Oh, I'll show you. I brought my singles with me to work. Your single issue? You? <laughs> See, to bring my old singles from when I was a kid. There you go. Ooh, ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's we, have long, we have long lunch and dinner breaks because students are, you know, they need time to eat lunch, hang out, in their dorms, you know, all that kind of thing. So I bring comics just in case. So, uh, let's see. Patchworks is saying behind on my reading with Eagle Moss Trek, but still tempted by the next gen mirror universe hardcover IDW. You're a big Trek fan, aren't you? Where's Tina? That's who I need. She's read a lot of that stuff. Hey, Omar, do you know if IST is having trouble delivering orders? I ordered a haul back in January, and it still hasn't come in yet. And I emailed them and haven't heard anything back. I know that the uh, the postal service has been slow for everybody. Um, I haven't ordered from IST in a while, so I don't know. I know they were having issues last year. And probably like everybody else, they are having issues. But to me, like I said, you know, communication goes a long way, so I hope they email you back soon. Omar, any Daredevil, Omni, or Epic Collection reprints? I, I don't think... No, not, not an omnibus. and Not yet, but I'm sure there's going to be one. Just just wait. Because um, that David brought up, too. Was Go ahead. We missed the super chat. We did? But now I... I uh, now I can't... Oh, where's the comment that said I missed the super chat? Hey, um, a surprise to be sure, just a welcome one? Yes. Roger Stern's Omni is a good place to start. Oh, yeah. Days of Future Present, Extinction Agenda, and Kings of Pain Omnibus. There we go. From Jose that's, it, that's it. Okay. But, Jose, what about – but Kings of Pain was included in Shattershot. Remember, Kings of Pain takes place like – no. <sighs> Hold on. Kings of Pain was not included in Shattershot. It was included in something else. I'm an idiot. Damn, how would – Okay. It was in the X Force omnibus. Man, that's a big double dipping, but that could work because it does take place after the thing that happens to Warlock in issue 95 of New Mutants. So that actually could work, man. I like that. Um, a couple of people asked me to read New Warriors. That's you a should. good idea. 
solid. Drop it or drop dead. You, what? Is that to me or are you talking to the chat? No, that's what uh, Night Thrasher says. Oh. Well, He's well, going anyway, gun up to the furniture. You said you should. It's awesome. There you go. It is. It's awesome. John Carlos, thank you so much for the super chat, buddy. Any word on King of Black Omnibus? King and Black Omnibus. Thanks for all the hard work. That announcement video yesterday had me left in the comatose for an hour. Um, no word on the King and Black Omnibus, but I'm sure with Absolute Carnage and War of the Realms and Empire, there will probably be one. Just don't know when. Just to let you know. <laughs> we did map Extinction Agenda and New Mutants Volume 4. However, X-Men Completus will still want it, so it would they would have to be double dipping with an Extinction Agenda omnibus. Man, that's a that's a hard time to to map. New Warriors is great, must read. Thank you, Christopher, for agreeing. Ooh, TMN, you've never read TMNT, the best incarnation, Maddox. Of TMNT is the IDW run. I'm trying to get my daughter to read it right now. She she's getting into she's a huge fan of the Transformers IDW stuff. But and she's re reading Junji Ito. And she's reading Junji Ito, yeah. She's also mature for an oh. eleven year old. What's up, Matthew? Hey, we were just talking about you. You missed it, man. Nothing but bad stuff. I love that you two are yelling at each other from different rooms on a live stream. <laughs> Do it through text. Do it through uh, real life. Real life. <laughs> hey, Spawn One says, "Are people buying comics more because of covers compared to storyline for single issues?" I so base it on yeah. the cover. Single issues, one hundred percent. However, no for co collected editions, like the Superman. Uh, let me show that the hard OHC. Um, I think it's okay without the dust. The dust jacket on it but if i just saw this it said pick based on the cover i wouldn't i mean i get i get the reference but huh. um sam sandwich schism, schism uh, is saying the best tmnt is the original series. um yeah for me it's I idw i love the idw series it's so good um it's a, hold on a second. They're talking. Y'all are talking about the Extinction Agenda. I'm gonna tell you why. Where's Rick Gear? Yeah, love the job Marvel does with Omnis, but they blew it for not folding Extinction Agenda and Days of Future Present in the Claremont Lee Volume One. You do know why, though, right, Rick? It's X Men, and you got people like me that will buy no matter what. I'm sure at one point they said, "Okay, let's put let's put Extinction Agenda in there." And then somebody said, no, let's make Extinction Agenda an OHC, and people will still buy it. 100%. I bet that's what happened. It's X-Men. It's a, it's, a, it's a cash cow. That's why I, I still stick to that there's going to be two Omnis between Uncanny 4 and Mutant Massacre. James got a good question. What's your best advice for FOMO with so many new books and reprints at once? It's an excellent <laughs> question, James. But I, I say buy what you like. Buy what you like and, and you know, worry and about you like everything is what I'm Okay, if you like everything, then you need you, we need a intervention. Um Intervention, intervention. Sure yelling intervention doesn't not mean <laughs> <we're> not <laughs> well I tell you, you like I, I, will, I will say the best advice I'm going to give you, and it's gonna uh, it's gonna hurt me. Jamie, but that's okay. But it is the best advice I can give anybody that suffers from FOMO. Stay away from channels like this. <laughs> I'm being serious. 100%. Yeah, but... Stay, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not kicking anybody out. I'm just saying if you suffer from FOMO and you have financial issues, and this is, I'm being serious. For anybody that has financial problem and you know the personality that you have, Watching channels like this does not help because, you know, you're seeing things and you're like, damn, I, I need to have that. I need that in my life. I'm going to get it. And before you know it, you're pushing the buy button and, and, and you don't have food to eat for the rest of the week. I don't want that for anybody. And I mean, I don't want anybody to stop watching my channel, but I'm serious. You stop. Don't go to social media. 
where people are posting their hauls and you stay away from from places like this. Best advice. I'm not. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I, I, I care about people more than I care about uh, getting a view. Because uh, I know what I know what it's like. Thank you so much, Aria. Uh, because I know what it's like not having money and being envious of things that I want and making mistakes that route. Like so. Look, film is what led me to buying a bunch of video games, <coughs> Omar, and I still haven't gone around to playing twenty years later. No, that's Rob. <laughs> no. <laughs> what about somebody suggested just following a character? Um, semi just a character two to fall and put up hard walls on that. Hold your ground. Just went. That yeah, that's a that's a good idea. My silly answer is what my mama taught me: you put the two things that you can't decide between behind your back. You no, know, have somebody else do it. You say any, meeny, money, mo, and then gauge what your natural reaction is when the person pulls it out in front of you. Like, are you like yes, relieved it was that? Or are you like oh, I wish it was the other one? That's supposed to help you. Now, does it help me? No, because I overthink everything. <laughs> what kind of advice is that? Okay, for like you're at the store and you want this action figure or the other. You pull it behind your back. That's if you're a kid. When you're a grown adult, like I have a job, I can get both. Uh for FOMO, you must set up an upper limit monthly and you must stick to it no matter what. That's great advice. Think think about that if you don't get something now, it will get reprinted sometime in the future. Also great advice. Um, part of the reason why I started doing the monthly budget meetings was no joke. That's how I was able to keep up. I was just sharing my list with people of books coming out, but it helped me decide, okay, I can only afford this much. I need to get this book or I need to, you know, wait on this book for another month. I still do the same. Like I still don't, I finally, I finally got down. Like when was Superman, like city, uh, city of the future, uh, city of the future, those two trades, I just I, I just recently picked up. And they've been out for weeks or a month now. So there is some really good advice here. Well, highlight them, please. Okay. Uh, so Rebel by Design. And Ace, thank you. It makes sense to her what I was talking about. Okay. <sighs> I start reading the rest of there it is. Get comfortable not being a pleatus unless it's something you truly love that much. Mm -hmm. And another rule is never pay over cover. It's simply not worth it. Patience is much more rewarding. Oh, Forsaken likes my idea too. It was my mama's. Um, how long did you wait for your, uh, when, oh my gosh, your girl, fire girl. Hikaru. How long did you wait for Hikaru, the figure? 10 years. I joined eBay in 1998, and I looked for her every week. But she didn't come until 2008 when we got married, and we were going to go to Japan. And I'm like, nope, I'm still going to buy it. I don't care. <laughs> you waited 10 years for her. You didn't wait 10 years for me, so, yeah. What the? What, you didn't wait oh, 10 years for me. Oh, that, that sounds like a trap right there. I'm not falling for that. I'm, I'm no, not. I was actually being genuine. Don't you start again. With, I used it was rule. a genuine joke. Okay. I used the rule of three. I have three ongoing series I follow constantly. Oh, and I have three other limited I try to complete. Good. There is some excellent advice. I would balance out what you want to own with reading digitally so you don't spend that much. Also makes sense. Um, that's just some advice, though. Seriously. Spend thousands in pre-order. That's my strategy. <laughs> or that. Where, where's my dude that said I got two jobs? Cancel. Hold on. Where is he at? He had a really good. I can't find it. He said, I got two jobs. And I'm eating good. <laughs> there he is. There he is. I got a second job and then use all that money for my second job to cover all the books. And my main source of income takes care of everything. Got to work hard, peeps. Yep. Wow. Daddy, what mansplaining? I don't mansplain. I geek explain. You geek explain? That's what I tell Tina. When she tries to come at me for mansplaining. Janice, look, I knew he would know when I said what I meant by fire girl. Oh, he wanted to play for fire girl. Hikaru. Hikaru from Magic Knight Ray Earth. This is the statue. Right, right, right. That's it. Yeah. See? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm sticking to Peter David Hulk Omnis and Uncanny X-Men. 
That's a good rule too. But there are people that buy everything and there are people that can afford to buy everything and more power to them. I'm not, you know, I'm not dogging on those people. I'm just speaking to the people that do have issues, you know, with money and have known to have issues with money and just trying to help them out. Please do an update on non-superhero graphic novels. Yes, boss. I promise I will. Uh, so then Nimoy's music career says, I'm going to need that hilarious story of you on the phone with Amazon. Um, that's a, that's an after hour story. Yeah, so ask me anything. I suppose pretty soon we'll have to put up the vote on Patreon for when people can join for the live Ask Me Anything. That's the $7.77 seven, $7 tier. And then the $5 tier, you get to watch the recording of Ask Me Anything with some uh, definitely interesting topics. Hi. Yeah, I don't shy away when they ask me anything. We talked about all kinds of stuff the last couple couple times. And actually a lot of comic stuff too. Yeah. Let's see. I ah, I like that better. Omar doesn't mansplain. I explain. Ha! <laughs> yes. Yeah, that is. That's a good pun. I've made the mistake of in only getting Spider-Man <laughs> X-Men. Yeah, because X-Men is so broad. It's huge. I love it though. I'll be jumping oh, off man. soon, but my NMC price showed up today, and I just want to say oh, thank good. you. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good. I'm glad. Hopefully, the people overseas don't have any issues or delays. <laughs> David's <laughs> using Bad Boy 52. Now y'all using my boy. Friend, so listen to you. <laughs> oh, Martin, you just – wait. Uh, wait. What extras do we get on your Patreon? There's all kinds of goodies. There's five different tiers. Uh, access early access to videos, like for example, the. Uh, well, here, let's start at the beginning. One dollar tier is the written documentation. Um, five dollar tier. In, wait, do you get to vote with one dollar tier? Mm -hmm. Um, and then five dollar uh, reader, reader. includes more voting options, opportunities. The recorded ask me anything. Um, early access, right? Mm -hmm. to videos seven dollars 77 tier on top of all that you get the live link to ask me anything ten dollar you get recognition and then the 25 dollar consultation tier is sold out right now um we get one-on-one -on -one consultation with omar to help with books that's, that's been a lot of fun that's been a lot of fun getting to map out some stuff or just getting to know a lot of the people it's really cool sorry baby i just wanted to go in order that's why i interrupted you that's cool uh there should be plenty of hype for the uh, Criminal Deluxe Editions. I myself, I'm trying to get some. Um, I have the original ones, but you know me and my OCD, I have to have the same kind of uh, spine. So these are the ones that will come out in April from Image Comics. Very excited about that. Oh, and um, on Patreon, you know, every once in a while, I would like to just throw something random on there behind the scenes. Just no, no schedule to it. Just if we have it, throw it on there to, you know, have some fun. And people have been asking about um, oh. the poll, so you can announce again. It's uh, the poll for the uh, most wanted Marvel omnibus reprints. Uh, will be on the channel uh, again. A big shout out to Luis and James who are helping me put together this. Mm -hmm. um, I'll make a video announcement, and then in the video, on the description of the video, I'll, I'll leave a link. So. Hopefully, you know, you all, every, everybody, you don't have to have Facebook. I think all you need is an email to, to sign up and just leave your most three favorite um, omni or your most three most wanted Marvel omnibus reprints. So, Ipsy, I'm going to, he won't read your email. I'm going to delete it. That's what you get for. What? Why am I deleting <laughs> Oh, being a mod, that's how you thank people? Yeah, I delete their emails. <laughs> Why is the Batman Deluxe Edition book five out of print? Are you talking about the Tom King book? I noticed that it went out of print at the direct market. Let let me – I'll check with somebody to see if they can still get it from the the book market. I don't know if it's still – if it's sold out there or not. I know Cheap Graphic Novels had it a couple of weeks ago. Speaking of Cheap Graphic Novels, don't forget to check them out. They're our official sponsor. Uh, for this video, tell them your main condition sent you their way, and there's discounts up to fifty percent off. Hopefully, I'll you know we'll see some Nick and Dent sales sometime soon, because I know a lot of people are looking forward to that. 
Uh, Chris says that your most meaningful graphic novels video is what got me to read Day Tripper. OMG, I was moved to tears so many times and it legit helped me refocus my life in a better direction. Thank you. That is awesome. That is really cool. That is a really powerful story for those people that have not read it. Oh, Just I, what Nightwing did for you to refocus your life when you were 19. You talking about? Oh, no, I wasn't 19. I was 16. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's three years off. Three years off is a big difference when you're in high school. Yeah. And doing foolish stuff afterwards. What are some good jumping on points for Fantastic Four? Uh, Mark Wade's run, Jonathan Hickman's run, John Burns' run. Can't go wrong with the classic Stan Lee and Jack Kirby run. Seriously, th those are my advices. Oh, Kitty Pride, we didn't do an April Fool's poster video because we went to the. Oh, wait, can you hear me? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. We went to the Children's Museum in Indianapolis and it was a lot of fun. So, no, we. We thought about it, and I couldn't think of anything clever. <laughs> we, we were busy, so yeah. So we never, we never, we never did do it. But we thought about putting an Alpha Omnibus thing out there, and I thought about releasing the announcements. And I was like, you know, I can't release it on a, <laughs> on April Fools. Hey, Omar, my second job is working for the Big A. So I would like to hear about that story with them <laughs> after dark. I figured it out in two oh, seconds. Yeah. Also, do you know what's planned for FF and annual? annual? The FF annual? I, I I don't know. Or anniversary. Oh, okay. Other than, other than the omnibus reprints I got to announce, like uh FF by Hickman. That's a big that's a big one. We did too. We we're big fans of the Indianapolis Children's Museum. It um uh, they had a lot, it was the DC exhibit. And of course with the pop culture, they had a lot of uh comic so yeah okay. there was some time i could share the picture you were chiming in anniversary anniversary you fool. okay 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 <laughs> i don't know i'm sorry i hope they get a bunch of writers and artists from the past to come in and do a one shot that would be cool Bye. yeah absolutely matt man, man man boy's full of it like full of full of comments today is what i'm saying um uh, they had closed out so many things because of covid like you know you can't Climb on walls and stuff like you used to dig the, the interactive stuff with the kids. It's just not as fun, but no, there was still stuff. You can sit in the race car. You can. I, I realized I hadn't been out of the state in over a year, so it was crazy. I was like, "Oh my gosh, I've been at home for a year." Um, let's see. Would you consider doing a video discussing prose writers whom you'd love to see transition to comic writing? That's a really cool idea. Thank you. Write oh, that, write that down. Write that down. Where's my book? You're hoping for a burn FF volume two, absolutely. Um, oh, is the two villain, I gotta go. Is the Batman villain Crocodile the same character on Spider Man villain? Are you talking about the lizard? Killer Croc is different than the lizard because they're two different companies. So, DC, Batman, Marvel, Spider Man, DC, Killer Croc, Marvel, the lizard, two different origins, too. Um, Will there be a, a moat? No, we didn't. Yeah. I thought about it, but everybody was like, oh, I'm tired. What are you talking about? Oh, my wife. My wife wanted to. We went to that one oh, that's, place. That's right. We did end up going. Uh, oh, my gosh. Where are you? <laughs> Sorry. And, and, and also, you had to be back at 9 o'clock to mm. do the um, podcast with Chris Volga. Yes, so. that's right. Okay, I had yes, a good time on that podcast. Um, you didn't find anything. At least you found a Pokemon uh Search and find book. What's it called? Search and find. Uh, and, um, and then we ate some delicious soup outside in the cold. Yeah. That, I, was I it. tell a story. I'm losing it. I don't know if I had it. Uh, I was trying to see this question right here. Will there be a most wanted DP reprint as well? There will be, but that's one that I, I mean, I could share with my contact over there and they could humor us, maybe look at it. I don't know. I mean, we could, but it's just the contact with Marvel is a lot different than my contact at DC. My contact at DC emails me back maybe once every three months, and it's usually with, I don't know. Let me get somebody on that. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't have a problem with it at all. We can try and see what happens, but end of the day, you know, he may not even look at it, but we'll see. 
Dang, bad boy, that's where we went. Downtown Comics. And you got Hall and Indy three days ago. Wait, Saturday. We could have saw it. It was Thursday. Maybe he was there. Oh my gosh. Omar, I found Loser Strode at your place in Indy. That's what's up, man. That's a good book. They're coming out with a soft cover edition of that for those people that have been wanting it in collected edition format and not digital. Luther Strode is going to be collected in a thick trade. Sadly, not a reprint of the hardcover, but at least it's something. Don't fight mom and dad. Well, <laughs> oh, I forget things all the time too. I forgive you. Oh, I'm sorry. You go back to what you're you had. Yeah, it's gone. Moments passed. Okay. Um, Rick Gear, we are in person classes. Um, just started rotating last week. So, because it's a residential school and all the students live in dorms, the dorms stayed together in the same classroom every day for months and months. Uh, it was really hard. Now, classes are rotating every 45 minutes, and I'm working because during recreation, during the school hours, it's different, right? Recreation activities. So, I should probably get going on that note. I okay. love you. Love I'm you. Sure you will be on at 1:20 because I'm not there to remind you of the time. No, you I'll take it. <laughs> you guys have fun. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Bye, baby. Thanks for oh, joining me. Almost ended the broadcast. I just do not end the broadcast. I'm gonna remove do myself. Down at the bottom. Please studio. Good gosh, my baby. Omar is getting old, losing his thoughts. I am. I I always ask myself, where the hell am I? I was surprised to find out Pluto Volume 1 is out of print already. Well, no, not already. That book had been in print for a long time. So perhaps it will come back into print. Oh, uh, you keep asking this. Is the David Charles Soul a good jumping on point? It is. It is. But then again, so is the Chip Zdarsky run. Omar's Tom Strong and Top Ten are getting compendiums coming out. Uh, but no absolute Omni. Nope. Uh, no, no absolute omnis, no, no Promethea, Promethea, what was the Immateria collection, which was supposed to be the omnibus. Nope. All of it is just compendiums, but at least they're being collected. Snyder is out of print in the direct market. I don't know about the book market. Most wanted Dark Horse reprints of Saki Jimbo, oh my gosh. I emailed my contact about that, and she's looking into it to see why the direct market got cut some copies. Would Image Boom Dark Horse be more receptive to reprint requests? Perhaps, yeah. That's a good question. Um, Because I talked to Kate. She's my Dark Horse contact, and she thanked me for letting her know about what you all told me about the uh, Usagi Ojimbo's uh, issues going on. So perhaps Dark Horse maybe image boom has not emailed me back i don't know i i you know not for lack of trying i i did email them comic book university i did love that that place is huge had a lot of epics and had the death and return of superman i think one of my viewers ended up uh getting it driving to indianapolis to go and get providing dc some clear data based feedback based on feedback might get their attention on you but that's also true yeah. Thanks for being on today. This is my church. <laughs> You're welcome. You need a Wolverine by Jason Aaron Omnibus. That book was another one that I was talking about when I uh, when I mentioned Liquidated. That book was also $25 at conventions for about a year before it finally went out of print. But I think, you know, the way, the way they came out, it was always interesting to me how they printed those. They printed Wolverine and the X-Men first, then that book, and then Wolverine Goes to Hell. Um, when will I know the covers? I can always email and ask Marvel about the covers. The, you're talking about each one of them, and each one of them will probably get a direct market cover. Maybe even three, right? They've been getting a little, cra not crazy, but they've been having fun with that, with Spider-Man by Todd McFarlane. That's got three covers. Wolverine Volume 2. And again, Wolverine Volume 2 is out of print for those people that are wanting to get it. And I say that so you can get it, you know, Probably the first week that it's out. I'm pretty sure there'll be a restock, but I don't know when. What's up from uh, Turkey? What's up, Mutlu? How are you doing? Dude, Supreme by Alan Moore would be so awesome. 
even didn't he didn't get to finish his run, right? Like, wasn't it Eric Larson that wrapped up the story? I would take that. Let's just hope Green Arrow Longbow Hunters 2 comes out. That's the one I'm most excited about. I know everybody's like Batman Snyder 2, Batman Snyder 2. Now for me is Longbow Hunters 2, man. I hope that comes out. Uh I have asked about the Dark Horse uh BPRD HCs, and right now they said no. So you're not the only one that has asked about that. Um BPRD hardcovers, Plague of uh was it Plague of Frogs, the first uh the first four. Some of those are out of print. They're focusing on the soft cover editions. So they they said she made it clear that the hardcovers are just a one-time thing. Uh, but that could change, right? They could see the demand for these things. Which reminds me, I need to get BPRD, the, the last hardcover that came out. What's up, Sugar Man? $5 super chat here. The, they're turning Georgia loose on April 9th. No more lockdown on anything. We're about to get wild, son. Any word if they're going to do... <laughs> nice segue. Uh, Peter David Hulk Volume 1. No word yet. But I hope so. Um, I hope that it gets a restock. No more lockdown, huh? Dang, that place is about to get crazy. Hey, Chris, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Omar, can you explain a little how come a title is out of print when it hasn't hit the market yet? Oh, man, I went through detail <laughs> about that. Um, Probably about the 25-minute mark or so when Melanie joined. I ex Was it before she joined? I'm so sorry. I explained in pretty much in detail how it goes out of print, but Really quick recap of that. It's just pre-orders are made. They go to the direct market, and direct market lets Marvel know. Marvel lets know the printer, how many to print, and then direct market gets it. So I'll just use another example again of X-Men Inferno. If they get an order of 2,500, Marvel will say, hey, it'll just print 3,000, make 500 extra, keep it at the distribution center. And then once it gets to the distribution center, Diamond... Um, for now, because it'll be Penguin Random House. Once it's out, everybody gets their orders, and there's 500 left. A company like Cheap Graphic Novels or InStock Trades or anybody, retailers, organic price books, dime breed collectors, whoever it is, wants to go in and order all 500, they can, and then it's it's out of print. That means the distribution center does not have any more. So that's why it's out of print before it even hits the market at the distribution center. Yes, reprint Hickman's Secret Warriors and Fabian Nicesa's Deadpool and Cable. Oh, let's make Cable and uh, Deadpool open up. Hurry, Omar. BPRD on Earth. God damn it. See, there's that FOMO, man. I, I, okay, I need, I'll need. i text somebody. I'll text somebody see if they can find me a copy of that BPRD Hell on Earth. Thank you for letting me know, though. Do you think we'll get a – I'm pretty sure we're going to get a Sean Murphy or a deluxe hardcover, a big fat omnibus or, or trade. <laughs> you mean the devil you know yes i knew what you meant because hell on earth i've got that one that's the i've got volume five the devil you know is the last one that came out answer my q a where's my buddy leo at omar do you uh got that one who's hyped for the silver surfer parable epic right which means that a volume eight has been pushed back probably till next year it's okay Spawn Compendium, I think it's just out of stock right now. People are still getting their, their orders in. So, not out of print. I wouldn't mind a Joe Kelly Deadpool. Well, it's up to you all. Seriously, it's up to you guys as soon as I announce uh, where you can go vote. You all make that happen. I always uh, That Parable Gallery Edition is beautiful. Oh, I love that story. Love that story. I wish Dark Horse would print more of Saggy hardcovers and just leave out the limited autograph. Yeah, me too. Check your local comic book shops, by the way. Some of those will probably uh, have them. So go out this weekend if you feel safe. You know, wear a mask, whatever you have to do. But go to your local comic shops. Some of them may, may have them. Timmy Ray, all the way from Northern Ireland. Uh, no news on any of those books, by the way. Juso, no on Amazing Spider-Man 2, Uncanny 3, and Uncanny 4. Lots of... Uncanny 4? You guys didn't get any in Europe? Really? Dang. Um, I hope you do. I know that... 
I don't think that's out of print. I'll know more next weekend what's what's out of print for sure. My comic store keeps saying there is no money to be made in hardcovers for them. I don't understand. But if but wait, Bavarian Rev, uh, no joke. But if you're asking for them to order you a book, they're not willing to order you a book? Because that's crazy because they get a discount. Meaning they are making some. It may not be the greatest money, but it's going to keep your business coming back. That just seems like crappy business sense to me. Like I, I don't get that. Hey, Omar, do you think we'll get a Black Widow on this volume two? I was hoping that we could get one based on the sales of the first one. But I think the first one... It's still around, so I don't. I don't know if they're uh, if they'll do it too. I would love it. Like you throw in some of the uh, Mark Wade stuff in there, even the Devin Grayson stuff, which isn't horrible. Uh, but yeah, that would be great. Look, read comics if you're living in the UK or in Europe. They still have a lot of a Amazing Spider-Man Volume Two in stock if, if you're wanting to get uh, something from the UK. Check out their website. Omar, can you explain what happened to the Criminal Deluxe reprints? They just got delayed. They're coming out in April. April 14th, I believe, is the week they're coming out. I've seen people trying to sell a uh, Spawn Compendium for double the cover on a Belgium sell site. That's just people taking advantage of these, uh, <laughs> these low print runs and uh, books just running out of stock. It, you're gonna look no matter what you're into whether it's toys Lego video games uh comics you know you're always gonna have scalpers and people hate scalpers but they do help people that have money and they're like yeah I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to wait I want to get it now I'll pay 500 bucks for it whatever so I mean they're they're meeting a demand that is needed which is crazy because you know but whatever reading Batgirl right now it's so good it really is isn't it Hannah I like that. My comic store sells more trades and, and hardcovers and floppies. Now, that's awesome. I think 13 hardcovers in the Hashet Deadpool. I haven't heard anything about an extension beyond 80. Oh, you all have Hashet, right? Awesome. That's the big, like, uh, has the mural on the spine. Vinyl. Exactly. Dude, Ormondo? Dude, look at the look. I know, what was it? The, I really, I don't. I love Bondo. I don't know if my boy is in here today, but uh, that print of Godzilla and King Kong sold out, and I wanted the Japanese one, of course, the black and white one, but sold out. I think in less than a minute. I was hitting F five because I was like, I really want a copy of this one. I don't have any space to put it here, but you know, when whenever we get our house. Our, our new house later on next year, probably, hopefully. Uh, I'll make sure I have enough space for it. But anyway, it was gone for less than less than a minute. It sold out. And then I looked on eBay, and there were already people like selling it for a lot more money than it was, which is crazy. So no matter what you're into, vinyl, posters, you know, there, there will always be scalpers. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, brother? Uh, yeah, man, that that Kong in 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 Godzilla print, boy, that thing was pretty. Now, that was gone quick, man. And I thought I had fast internet. I was f fiving like crazy. It's good to see you here, man. Thank you so much, Jack, for the super chat. Omar, have you spoken to Dark Horse about printing us some Lone Wolf and Cub Deluxe? I have, and they said right now they are not focusing on any new uh, deluxe hardcovers. So what we have right now is all we're gonna get for now. Now, she said they could change her mind later on, uh, but for now, we have uh, look, Blade of the Immortal, Berserk, and Trigon. So hopefully, maybe after Trigon is done, because we only need one more, they'll focus. It'd be really cool if they'll focus on Lone Wolf and Cub, because we've had that artwork in, in traditional comic size before. Yep, Infinity Gauntlet went quick. Yeah, dude, Kong and Godzilla was a good movie. I, I had a lot of fun with that movie. Do you think that the Snyder Omnibus Volume 1 will get a reprint? I think it's been reprinted really quick. Like, it was reprinted a lot in the book market. I saw it, like, a lot on Amazon. And apparently the new binding was better than the original binding. 
<laughs> yeah, not unlike the ex zombies these days. That thanks for the kind words. Kind words, man. I love I love that print. Yeah, not like the ex zombies. You're right. Those things go quick too. Helsing, not Trigon. Thank you for correcting me. Trigon would make another great deluxe edition, though. Yeah, sorry. I meant Helsing. We only have one more of Helsing to wrap up that run. And then they're doing something interesting. And I know I don't know if I've talked about it. They're doing the Vampire Hunter D deluxe editions, but they're they're the novels, right? So it's not a manga. So I thought that was uh, pretty interesting. Is the fade out deluxe edition out of print? It is out of print right now. That, that will probably come back, though. That and Kill or Be Killed. I see those coming back. I don't see those being out of print. I was already looking for Trigon. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start up or any rumors. That's just something I want. Uh, I meant Helsing. Was Criminal ever made available for pre-order? I kept checking TOW and the CBS and never saw it. I don't know if it was made for pre-order or if it just had a final cutoff date. Like, uh, what is it? The um, Oh, the Red Sonja Signature Edition that comes out in May. It has a final cutoff date of April 12th, so next weekend. I think it's just for retailers to, to put in their orders. So I don't know if that one went live with a pre-order for, for us, right? For the normal folk that didn't have a Diamond account. Kubato's out? Oh, man. I haven't even gotten that. Dude, the Mega Man vinyl was a lot of fun. Although they skipped on, like, Feral Man's theme from Mega Man 4. What's up with that? Let's see. Criminal reprint books had pre-order issues and was covered by Brubaker in his newsletter, and they recently sorted it out. Good. And Organic Price Books is doing pre-orders for Criminal, so awesome. There you go. Annihilation Omnibus is out of print. And the, somebody was asking earlier about the restock of that. And the restock came and went like quick. Because restocks, those small restocks, they don't really tell us when they're going to do it. It's just like a what I call a stealth restock. Like Conan. Conan the Barbarian was a stealth reprint. They never do that. They usually make a big deal about it. I get to make a video. But they made a stealth reprint of Conan 1. And it was gone within a week. Hip hop happens. Can you convince them not to double dip on the Starlin Infinity Gauntlet issues if it's Silver Surfer Omni? Almost 20 issues, the arc in 41 through 43, where he has to get a job is classic. I remember that. And probably there's going to be some double dipping just based on the past. And I say that because they don't like orphaned issues. They want everything because they don't, they think, they think like, um, like, like the case with X Factor, right? They think that, oh, not everybody is going to get everything. So somebody might just want an X Factor omnibus. So things like that. So Brian just pre ordered Criminal Reprints from Read Comics. There you go. Making connections. Could you try to convince Marvel to include more pages in Amazing Spider Man Volume 5, which is only 880 pages? It should have more content, so Volume 6, 181 to 223, it won't be too thick and fits just before the Roger Stern. You don't think they would do a 6 and 7? Is that enough? That's 40, what is that, 42 issues? What about annuals and appearances in the Marvel 2-in-1? Or uh, not 2-in-1, what's what's the title that he was in? Uh, Marvel, Marvel, not Fanfare. I think by that time, they may have enough for two Omnis, honestly. And Jamie is asking where everybody's pre-ordering from. Here in America, most people pre-order from DCBS. I know Tales of Wonder, but Tales of Wonder slips sometimes on their tell, uh, on their cutoff date. And even pre-orders in the direct market did not lock everyone down for the Usagi Ojimbo hardcover, which is heartbreaking. So many of my... Um, that's why I had to email Dark Horse, because a lot of y'all reached out to me saying you're pre-order was canceled even though you pre-ordered like day one you should map my web oh i like that name map my web i'll see if peter peter and i love that stuff but i'll see if riley and odfell want to do a x or a spider-man one going late oh my gosh i didn't even notice um uh going late today i didn't even notice all right we'll take a couple more questions 
My wife was right. She was going to come in here at 120, and I'm still going to be on. Uh, do you think things will get better anytime soon in the Omni uh, department at DC? I think things are looking up, right? Like we saw a bunch of um, Omnis that got announced, like Flash, Omnibus, Volume 3 by Jeff Johns, uh, Green Arrow, Volume 2, Scott Snyder, Volume 2, Batman, Scott Snyder, Volume 2. So I think things are looking up. I don't know um, if if it's a, if it's going to be, you know, fixed. So team up. Thank you, guys. The, team up. Marvel team up. And my mouse is dead. Or the internet is not. We are okay with you running long, Omar. <laughs> Thanks. I really appreciate that, Mark. Thank you. Try not to go on too long. Why did Dark Horse only print 600 of, uh, copies of Osagi? The market has exploded since last year, and there is Osagi show coming to Netflix. Um, that can be answered by the fact that they only printed... I think 700 copies from, or I can't remember what it was. It was 900 copies of the original limited edition hardcover of the first printing. And then 1500 of volumes two through eight and now nine. So they said, Oh, well we screwed 600 people out of it. If they want the whole set, let's go ahead and print 600. And that's the problem. They should have not just made, make it limited. They should have just, let people order what they want. But I don't make the rules over there. That was their decision. Would you recommend Richard Stark's Parker for a first-time comic reader? Also, Cap Volume 2 Omnibus, uh, Silver Age Omnibus reprint. I haven't heard about Cap 2. Uh, I know my buddy Graham wants it. But as far as Stark's, uh, Richard Stark's Parker, yeah, that stuff is awesome, man. The Darwin Cook uh, story. Yes, get the Martini edition. It's beautiful. That freaking second book, though, has been postponed again. I, I don't know if it's coming out in May now or not. I don't get these companies. They can sell books uh, to people from all over the world, but they don't even realize it. I think they're starting to. Uh, I think they're starting to realize how much demand there is for things like this, and I think they're they're starting to to see to uh, to do a um, you know test out the market. With either YouTube channels or, I mean, it's almost like a free market research when you look at YouTube channels, right? You see what people are interested in when they look at the comments section. So I think it, it, it's taken time to, to believe that because anybody can say, I want this book, but it's your money that speaks. So then that's why pre-orders are always important. Trying to get back to one to two days currently at five days dispatch due to a lot of omnibus editions recently. Blame Omar. <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> yeah right i'm getting a little worried about park i know it's coming i know it's coming it's just it's just gotten delay after delay since january i think new warriors are, are or thunderbolts i'm not gonna lie i love new warriors that's what i would go for but you will probably enjoy thunderbolts more don't forget to smash that like button please don't forget to smash that like button or what's the point of a stealth restock wouldn't it be more profitable to announce it uh, it's a stealth restock just helps out getting the back orders filled. So if there was back orders, even though that system is broken and we've talked about it, back orders for Conan volume one, that was like 300. They send it over to the printer and that job gets done. And the 300 orders are met through the distribution center. Where do they go? It's up to them or anybody that can see diamond updates. So hopefully they will, um, the next restock won't be stealth anymore. They'll just actually make it big. What? Oh my God. Amazon now says Parker's going to be September. I'll call. I have a contact at IDW. I'll see what's going on with that. He actually gets back to me uh, after a few uh, emails. I think you spoke uh, with this uh, with Max, but if you don't pre order a book, does that mean you, I won't be able to buy it when it comes out because of selling out? No, 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 not at all. It, it just means that you're, you are you are sure going to get a book if you pre-order it, unless the case is like Kusagi or Jimbo, like I was talking about. Um, but that's a rare case. Most of the time you get the books that you do pre-order. Books that are coming out, you can you still have a chance of getting, of course. There, I mean, look at the look at the case of uh what uh, Moon Knight is still out there. Uh, you know, there's a couple of X-Men by Chris Claremont and Jim Lee, those are still out there. So I think 
some books you'll still be able to find. But if it's something that you really want, I think Bavarian Rev said it best, pre-order that. If it's something that you're really looking forward to and don't even want a chance of missing out on it. Dude, I can't I can't even find the max hardcovers that I wanted, brother. Like they're gone out of print. And did we even get the max Batman one? I think that thing got delayed a year. And I stopped mentioning it on my upcoming collected editions, which by the way will be up tomorrow unless you're a Patreon. They get early access. So that will be out today. The upcoming collected editions for April. What are the chances Batman, Dark Crusader, and Dark Knight detectives get hardcover treatment? Dude, that would be awesome. All they have to do is put those files together and make an omnibus. That's what I want. That's what I want. So Diamond has a new live system with a uh, final cutoff date that started last week where they put Wolverine Omnibus Volume 1. They see if there are enough orders to decide whether to reprint. They will be adding more. Now, what's going to happen with Penguin Random House, though, when they take over the direct market? That's that's what I'm thinking. Mad Boy, I've done my top 10 favorite Omnis of all time. It's a video on the channel if you want to look at it for it. So I even threw five extra one in there for you. Dude, I'm psyched for that Madman Library Editions 2 from Dark Horse. I'm excited for those books. I'm glad. I mean, they're not the same as the, what was it, the Mad Edition that came out a couple of years ago. Or, well, not a few years ago, but I'm there for it. Flow Mofo, when you pre-order, do you save less money or pay more for shipping? Ah, so that's that's the thing. I think pre-orders at DCBS are fifty percent off, but you have to pay for shipping, and you can pay a one-time fee if it comes out month. If you do it a monthly, or you can pay it weekly, depends on what you order. So I think that's what a lot of people wait for is that fifty percent uh, to return to places like InStock Trades. Me myself, I don't think they're gonna return to that. Not. Not based on the discount, especially now with Marvel going with Penguin Random House. I don't think I think the days of fifty percent off at in stock trades are gone. But that's just I mean, that's just my thinking. It was nice. It was nice for a long time. Yes, the Gargantua and Atomica, dude, those were awesome. They do charge you. DCBS does charge you when you pre-order. Like if you let's say if you pre-order for books in March. They will charge you, I think, by April 15th. Omar, I know you don't like the first two X-Men Omnis. <laughs> okay, I don't I don't dislike them. I just think people are in... They're going to be surprised when they read them. Because, I mean, those books are expensive. Crazy expensive. And they're a lot different than the... To me, the Uncanny X-Men. Now, the Roy Thomas stuff was fun. Arnold Drake stuff was pretty good. Uh, but the Stanley and Jack Kirby stuff, it's, I don't know. It just it was really stale compared to the other things that they were doing. You know, compared to Fantastic Four, compared to uh, or Spider Man with Ditko. You know, they're up there with like Avengers. Not really that memory memorable things about that run. But I get it. Completist sake, I'm a completist too, so I want those books as well. So I hope they reprint them. Stupid camera. Why are you going out of focus? All right, I guess it's a good time uh, to remind everybody. It Oh, my gosh, it's 118. I did go over. Um, thank you all for joining me this Saturday. Um, check out our spread shop. It's a great way to support the channel, and you get some near me condition gear. Uh, check out our Patreon if you can do so. Um, you know, we start at a dollar a month and uh, we have different tiers for everybody. It's a, a phenomenal way to support the channel. You said 120. It ain't 120 yet. Don't you say told you so. It ain't 120. It's 118. Don't come at me, woman. Um, and subscribe, share videos, you know. Yeah. Thank you all. I will be back next Saturday live. Uh, I'll be back on Wednesday with Amanda and I when we do our comic book news sh uh, movie show. And then on Friday, we're reviewing Winter, uh, Falcon Winter Soldier Episode 4 as well as Invincible Episode 5. So everybody, thank you all so much for watching. And you all stay healthy, stay safe. Have a wonderful Easter weekend. Enjoy it with your family. And much love.